Hello, everybody, and welcome to High Rollers D&D. It's me, your Dungeon Master, Marshall Coombs. Uh, welcome to this chill Sunday. Uh, I am joined, as always, by... We got Re. Hello. We got Trot. We got Kim. Hi. On the other side, we got Tom. And we got Katie. Yeah. We've got everyone here. Everyone's invited. Everyone's <laughs> here. Hello. <laughs> uh, Every time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Every time I say everyone's invited, Re instantly... From Smash yeah, Bros. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's such a mind meldy thing. Um, a couple of quick things before we do the recap and jump into playing today. Uh, first one, it's a very special, important day. Very, very important day indeed. How important? Mm. Super special. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, why? Oh, look at that little look. He's so it's happy. My it's, <laughs> it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah. Happy. He made it. He made it. Happy birthday, yeah. Crip Crop. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. It's Trot's birthday, everyone. So put a little, little I happy love message. Out the womb today. Right. Thirty-five oh. years ago. Womb emergence. Screaming and crying. Shitting and farting. She meat bag. <laughs> Yeah. Now look at me. Mm. Yeah. Shitting and crying. <laughs> Bless you, meat bag. Just slightly bigger Nothing and Nothing changes. Yeah. Nothing changes. Well, welcome to the other side of the 30s. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. Oh, it's no. really downhill join, from here. Join me and Kim in the, yep. in the shit side of 30. Super uh, downhill from here, buddy. Really just yep. hit me like a truck. Yeah. Yep. Enjoy. Take a good look at us, too. Yep. <laughs> Can't be you No, I don't like about mid to late 30s. Nose hair. Nose hair, yeah. yeah, it's a problem. Only yep. now it is, is a problem. Yep. Instantly today, I it's suddenly a problem. Got those he woke hair. up like, <laughs> Tommy, see, Tommy, you don't understand it because you're still on the good side. I'm on the other yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, when I, you I get to know. 35, it just starts coming out like just like Doctor Robotnik. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right Robotnik, that's not his moustache. No. That's nose hair. Just nose hair. Trot really hates hedgehogs now. I mm. do. <laughs> that's it. Um, I'm trying to think of a line Robotnik would say, but I just. <laughs> Um, 35, so I wouldn't know. No, yeah. don't know. That's yeah. the thing. You start that's forgetting usual. popular culture. No, anyway, it was because, yeah. you know, the awesome. Sonic that I remember, he didn't used to talk. He was yeah. just a guy yeah. on the screen. There was no the lines. There was just like annoyed yeah. sound. Waggle his hand. Waggle his hand. Sonic, not Eggman. 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 He wasn't even called Eggman. He was Dr. Maria. Maria. No, that was Shadow. I say. Then the millennials coming in. Maria. They're absolute nonsense. Anyway. that weird human romance. Other things. Yeah. If you are a <laughs> member of the High Rollers Patreon or a member on our YouTube channel, uh, ooh, a little treat for you, a little little lovely Exclusive little treat. Content. Exclusive treat. Uh, there is the character creation for our upcoming delve into the Warhammer Fantasy role-playing game. We're going to be doing a little miniature campaign playing through The Enemy Within, which is uh, an adventure module, um, playing through fourth edition of the Warhammer Fantasy role-playing game. We did that literally yesterday. We made characters yep. for it. Um, and, and it goes up today. And it goes up. Is up today. Wow. It's already up. It's, uh, is it up or is it going up today? It's up today. It's it's up. Up. It was up it's at 12 oh, sure. today. It could be a patron or a member right now and you'd get to see it. Right You'll get to see, see it. it. Yeah. You can see us uh, making characters right now, in this though, system. Um, here. Yeah, exactly. Well, Maybe yeah. after this, go and watch it. Save it. Yeah. It's there. Uh, but you can go do that. Um, in terms of that won't be starting for a couple of weeks, so you've got time to go in and watch it and kind of see the kind of mad, very <laughs> not adventure heroic characters that will be being played in that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's, fun. Yeah. it's great. It's really cool. Um, it's going to be really fun. A lot of random rolls. Yeah. yeah. Good shit. Chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Good chaos stuff. Uh, and that, I think, is everything. Uh, um, yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well nice. done. Yep. Clean. Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, we've done oh, that. Happy got that. Let's do that again. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To he has to milk it with us because he knows that his other his other people that he does his content with aren't so nice about his birthday. Yeah. They make you do horrible things. They make horrible him do things, horrible don't things, you? yeah. Oh, so he has to like really hammer video. it home. Was it really video. horrible this year? There was a video. Well, how horrible uh, was it? Weird to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sorry because no, Craig edited it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was nice. hoping our neighbours wouldn't look in our window. And see. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That is peak. Yep. There you go. There well, you go. If you want to also horrify your neighbours, uh, there'll be a video on Hat Films where you can watch Chris Trot suffer for his birthday. There's other stuff. With that, mm. that's it. We're going to get straight into the Dun Duns and then we'll do the recap. Mm, see done. You in a bit.
cousin. Welcome back to Erois. Why did that get alarmed? <laughs> Last time, the heroes returned to the sky city of Horizon and caught up with their allies, as well as re-equipped Nova Vija following her return. The champion's next steps were discussed, including a plan to take down the great beasts of Atelicus. Finally headed to the continent of Al Saraf to get ready and to wait for the rest of their allies in the Great Hunt. And they came to the village of Starwatch Rise, a borough folk settlement that has opened up to the travelers ahead of the hunt. And they've arrived during a special celebration, the Festival of New Stars. Uh, they had a brief moment to assist a elderly borough folk couple clearing out their house of old cutter, clutter and dirt and uh, get it ready for all the new spirits and luck that would be brought in and uh, engaged in a brief, brief little, uh, not even full encounter, but a struggle against some dust and clutter spirits. It was deadly. Um, it's the hardest deadly. thing we fought so far. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in the process, horrific <laughs> century, gained a lovely little, a little friend, a little, little, uh, a little creature has decided to tag along with century for the time being. Yeah. Oh yeah, what did you call him again? Briar. Briar. Yeah, Briar. A dust ball called Briar. Yeah, it's a clutter, clutter spirit. Clutter spirit. Not clutter a dust spirit. Spirit. Called Briar. Yeah. yeah. So they have, they resemble like a little glowing little humanoid with a kind of dung beetle head, uh, and then they roll around balls of clutter like a little katamari. They're gonna have so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that is where we literally left things off last time, I think. Um, Okay. The uh, the the Burford Village, because uh, appreciate Trot wasn't here last week. Although he did say that he read the wiki to catch up. Thanks, wiki um, team. Thanks, wiki team. I'm not um, gonna watch the episode of shit. <laughs> I, 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 you have to listen to some annoying dude talk all the time. Um, well, I the, tried to keep it down. <laughs> there are three kind of big hills. Um, where the village has been built sort of in and over. So the village actually kind of encompasses the top of the hill and then the sort of burrows and tunnels within them as well. And they're all linked up. And then there are farms and fields and uh, the edges of the forest sort of on the outskirts. Uh, at the base lack of, the of livestock. Well. Huh? Yeah, no, no like, like livestock, like cows and pigs and things like that. It's all mainly fields and farms. That's kind of strange. Stuff. Did you get that from the wiki? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. I should read the wiki. How's Jack doing? Big Jack. Yep. What's his other name? It's Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Just Jack. Jack's Jack. To be honest, she could Jack have probably Rabbit. said anything in front welcome, of Jack. Welcome to the joke. Have... <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> anyway. Yep. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, bad, the... bad bunny. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's one of these days. Oh, okay. Days. okay. Just one of those days. Just gonna, just gonna let these guys take it away, and then I'll just sit here, jump in when I need to. Um, wait me if I fall asleep. We'll, we'll take, we'll take over here. Yep. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so uh, the town is here. Uh, the festival is ongoing. Um, you know that you've got some time. Uh, you're waiting for the rest of sort of the allies and the forces to arrive. Um, before this great plan to take down the beasts uh, can be fully enacted. Uh, as uh, as was discussed with uh, Danica uh, and Commander Rain, the idea is that all three of the beasts need to be attacked at the same time, and they need to be defeated at the precise same time, within like a few seconds of but each we one. we decided on Stonewall, stone right? Yes. You did, yeah. We big were previously rest, thinking about the icy cold one, but then that's changed to Stonewall. Yeah, because of their current resistances uh, and the elemental well, there also dragons, no, there wasn't so. really a cold one before there was the there was the storm, storm rock one. basically like giant bird giant storm bird yeah um there was the tide it was previously known as the tide hydra but they changed the name because uh, danica thought it was really stupid yeah danica yeah uh, so they changed <laughs> it didn't to, begin with an s yeah. what's the point yeah it's exactly joke. the other two began with an s and then there was one which began with a t it was stupid so joke. they changed it to surge scale which is a, a like a big underwater hydra that would regenerate um, yeah, but as some... the dragons fight them, they're yes. gaining resistance yeah, to certain elements yeah. and stuff. So yeah. it's like you guys wanted to go the best, because but... you wanted to deal with Vort and Sar and like you had to buy yeah. time. The dragons have basically been rotating certain elements out, but they, that means that these these creatures have become immune to certain elements. It's like the Borg, basically. Mm -hmm. We have to hit them hard, yeah. hit them fast. Oh, we decided last week actually um, Lucius is going to one shot one of them on his own. Lucius can do that. That's please. where he is now. You're after the Hydra. Oh, I'm in front of the Hydra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're in the Hydra right now. Oh, actually, you're in the his mouth. 
Interesting.、Mm. You always seem to get gozzed by stuff, so it made、yeah. sense you were in its mouth. <laughs>、yep. Never say gozzed、no, again. No? <laughs> Stop getting gozzed then. <laughs> For American and non English speakers、uh, listening to the podcast,、Spam. gauzed is a, a, a UK <laughs> slang term for sort of baffed or spat on or sort of, you know, yeah, in a mouth, yeah. Yeah, it can mean anything, really. To, we don't need to. No, I think、either. that some people need to know that what we, we like mean. We need to educate. Yeah. We're an educational It's an educational level. Because、yeah. otherwise they, they think they know what gauzed means and then it's、yeah. like, no. I've been gauzed on. <laughs> Have you heard the lead? <laughs> <laughs> What gone? No, no if, he sto- if he stopped himself, <laughs>、no. I don't want him to continue.、Okay. Save that for your hat.、Board. But also, at the festival, <laughs>、yes. we still have to shit up some kids.、Uh, yeah. Well, there was a well, bunch no, of no. things. There's a bunch of things to do in the festival. We need to go and look at the vegetables. The pumpkins. Oh, pumpkins. No, no, no. There was something about vegetables. Mark said last week, go to Ray and Tom, you have to deal with the vegetables. Oh, he、so, did. I will remind you. Hey, s e n t r y you want to go of, see some vegetables? There are a number of things going on. Um, <clears throat> this, the Festival of New Stars、uh, is sort of a celebration of a bunch of different things.、Um, you were kind of told a little bit about it by the matriarch of the, the clan here. They're called the, the Bright Tail family, it's kind of the, the, the borough folk that live here.、Uh, Mama Vindra, matriarch Vindra.、Um, and the Festival of New Stars is all about kind of the celebration of、uh, new beginnings and like new life, but also the recently deceased.、Um, There is, you can make paper lanterns, and uh, tonight, uh, after the sun goes down,、um, when it's nighttime, they'll release all of the paper lanterns to send up the new souls to the astral sea, is the idea, as they kind of launch these paper lanterns that carry the light up into the air to sort of rejoin. And it's, a, you know, it's an old tradition based on the gods of Kalar and Siaska and Italicus, kind of all coming together.、Uh, there are also lots of shadow, shadow puppet theatres. Uh, that go on, like light and shadow is like a big part of this as well.、Um, they put on little performances. You also know that at some point,、uh, and you were told to sort of play along with this, at some point there is a giant wolf lion spirit, a possessed, corrupted, dark、uh, wolf lion spirit that will come around to scare all the adults, and the children have to basically chase them off with like light and noise. And all the adults have to act scared, and you've been sort of asked if you'll play along with that and help the children, you know, give them things or ways that they can. Scare off this thing、uh, that it, when it appears. We shouldn't、um, have told Trot that. We should have just let him. <laughs> no, yeah, Mercy,、yeah, Lucius, no. Oh, it would be a repeat、idea. of the cow incident.、Mm. No, maybe just not. Cones of cold and murders <laughs> <laughs> loads of innocent、no. borough folk. There's been so much character growth since that <laughs> dreaded day. It has. The, so, birds.、Um, yeah, the birds! Yeah, the birds were much, much better. I was a teenager then, so technically I was younger than the cow incident.、Ah. That's very true. Um, and canonical. Then, finally, <laughs>、uh, there was also when you were coming in on the airship, you did spot from the air some exceptionally large pumpkins.、Um, and you know that the cooking and dinner and things is a big part of the festival as well, but you have to go and basically collect your own sort of like food to turn into you know, ingredients and food.、Mm. Um, and that's all done、food、via the farm. Yeah, you have to grab other things to make the foods. Foot to foot.、Um, foot, to foot. And that's kind of, yeah, where we're at. You also know that there are, like,、um, the wild elves are also here. You know, Morgane, Frostblessed,、uh, Rethra, who you rescued from astral space,、uh, and Hunter Varnia, who are all going to be part of the, the hunt, basically, to go、uh, after these great feasts, along with Sanna Longears, who is an old, old ally of yours from long ago. Like three months. <laughs> it's like a year and a bit, I think, in game. Yeah. yeah、um, the timeline's crazy. We saw her at the、um, leaders' meeting,、yeah. but we didn't have, we、yes. ventured with her on the road back at like, Rose. When、uh, they found、oh, the, the underwater、um, yeah. ship. Before, before Kaylee's Rest. Yeah, what was the one before Kaylee's Rest? I can't remember. It was like the lake and the underwater、oh, ship. Ironwick. Ironwick. Yeah. Ironwick. Yeah. Well remembered. I, my, I was just like. <laughs> That place. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the wiki open. Genuinely impressive.、Oh. Yeah. She's、um, got the wiki. So yeah, and you've got. This is time for you to enjoy. After all the madness that has been going on, this is perhaps. One of your brief, perhaps maybe even the last time that you will have before, you know, a moment、Ominous. of levity. Well, I mean, you know that after this, you have to take down the great beasts. Once the great beasts get taken down, Valor will be able to locate Atelicus. You need to fight Atelicus. You know that Callus and everything else is still out there, and time is growing short. After the live stream last week, one of our audience members put in our Discord that. I can't remember where in the world, 
but somewhere there is actually genuinely a pumpkin festival where they grow giant pumpkins and the image like the photo that the, the, the photo that they had was people rowing across a river in a pumpkin in a hollowed out pumpkin it's pretty amazing like that's pretty crazy it's so what you're saying really we need to go and find a giant pumpkin well they're like 10 foot pump. tall here apparently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yep cool turn it into a boat go fight callus yeah <laughs> Throw a giant pumpkin at her dog. <laughs> <laughs> we got pumpkin shit. Fire Throw an cannon. enchantment on that yeah. bad boy and get it into the astral sea. Why not? We got pumpkin shit. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> We're coming for you, Hadar. <laughs> row, 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 row. <laughs> so Lucius opted out of cleaning this house, right? Yeah, meaning because I didn't the last want to play. Yeah. yeah. That happened. Yeah. yeah. We've just finished cleaning up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. you could have been nearby, but you were just like, I'm not going to help. I'll Peace. pop in just as they're finishing. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Is it clean in there yet? Oh. Uh, dirty. Well, it's... I. It's cleaner, uh, but some of the dust spirits, they they burst when we got rid of them. So, actually, I think we may have well, made things you, worse. Nova did say that Nova was staying behind yeah. to help clear up the mess that yeah, had helped create. sad old man yes. being a sad old man. You were, you, and uh, nobody has yet discovered the giant crack in the windowsill that Ayla made. But oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hastily leave. <laughs> okay, mm. sure. And but as I leave, I'll be like, it's okay, Lucius, everything's taken care of. Don't worry. And I'll pat him on the back, but it leaves a handprint <laughs> of dust because of you were the covered in soot. Yeah. So it's just there. Oh good. Mm. I was thinking of how ugh, dirty it would have been and. Just yeah. Hands and knees um, and scrubbing and that stuff. I, I would. Well, that wasn't too bad. I made a friend. Okay. Present Briar. Oh, my hand. okay. This is Briar. Hello, Briar. What? Yeah. Is it dirty? No, no, no. Oh no, that's one of the like the scrap collecty ones. <clears throat> You've got like a like a you have like a thing with like jewels and sort of chains oh, on your hand uh, and stuff uh, like uh, that. Uh, He's uh, trying uh, to pull the gems out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, okay, stay. come on, 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 come He's not going to go just tearing stuff apart to make himself bigger because they got pretty big in the house. No, he's well behaved. I'll keep an eye on him. They get okay. bigger? The actual, the little yeah. spirit never got bigger, but their ball of the stuff, ball of stuff, gets stuff got bigger. Yeah. 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 It, it was literally a katamari. Things. Like, as they collected mm -hmm. unattended items, their ball got bigger and then they could slam it into people <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Quill had to pick up a whole heap of forks because he was like, oh. Yeah, I was really worried about if forks. they, you know, start Sorry. shooting forks out. Of <laughs> Dabbing you with it. Uh, and one of them did at one point. And, yeah, almost got my other eye. This is very bizarre to come in on. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, yeah. look, it, yeah. it, that's just how the festival's been going, Lucius. Uh, I don't know what you've been up to in the time that we were in, in there cleaning. Did you I get to see You had a nap, okay. <laughs> Great. It's quite tired. It's probably actually, yeah, like where Mama, where uh, the matriarch, uh, her sort of like den is like full of big soft cushions and like things like I laying on the ground. Yeah, and then you just had a nice little sleep in trance. Yeah. You we... probably woke up with like a blanket over you and Aww. like a little sort of like mug of like tea nearby when you woke up. I kind of knew they were there because it's a trance, but I let it happen. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> this okay. is nice. <laughs> so you've been enjoying the festival then? Just getting out there, seeing people, scaring kids. Nope. Nope. No, Great. we're not supposed to scare the kids. No. This is a, an important distinction. We're meant to raise their courage. Scared. Yes. We're we're scared. We're, scared. we're not the scarers because oh, yeah. you know if we start doing that, we're gonna cause all kinds of trouble and they're gonna hate us. Okay. Like most towns. I should have asked them. this like a while ago before the cleaning of the house, but in terms of like the three great beasts of Atelicus potentially attacking the island and causing all sorts of disruption. Sure. Are they all safe here right now? Uh, I'd Is say... everything safe for, like, to go along with the festival? I mean, you, they, there's no walls, there's no, <clears throat> like, fortifications, but the people here don't seem scared. I just find it a little surreal that it's nice, don't get me wrong, but there's this threat on the island. Oh, they are very aware of that. When I was speaking to Big Jack, he was almost <laughs> excited more about the festival and just happy to just exist in this space for a while before, again, the they big hunt that he the, seemed to be the excited. Threat. Yes. 
Um, well, but also, do, the spirits, the spirits the will warn us. Hopefully, if something does come our way, would like. That yeah, one? but there's Ooh. there's lots of different kinds, and sometimes like they'll come out of the woods, and that mm. means there's danger in the woods, or like birds. They'll, y- y- they're they're a good sign that something's up. We should have spirits in our respective homelands. I've never seen these kind of things before. They sound very useful. <laughs> Gus Tavis could do pretty it. good at <laughs> convincing them to stick around. So there you go. You can raise an army of guardians and an army of spirits. Out of all of you, I think Nova probably would have recalled. I don't know if you were going to say, but like there was an explanation for why Alsaraf has these kind of spirits and the other places don't. Yes. It's Nova, I think it's something to do you. with a telecus. Okay. <laughs> That must feel it's good for all the, the law creators. <laughs> yeah. Having that knowledge absorbed. It's because the continent is afflicted with natural magic. Afflicted? Mm. Well, why I say afflicted. Infused. Infused, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Extreme biomes, extreme weather. I see. Well, do I feel more magical? Well, I don't think you would know. Uh, your magic comes from more like arcana internal sources like colour and things like that. This is much more about kind of the land and weather and things like that here. Nature's magic. Yeah, more nature's magic, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I just feel um, empty. So what, great. what part of the festivals need doing? I mean, we, 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 uh, we, we, we have done some of our hard work, which was one of the things in cleaning the house. So that's, that's, that's done. Maybe you could do... Something like that, if you want to. Okay. Uh, there's pumpkins. There's the yeah, there were huge pumpkins we saw from the ship. So oh we yeah, go they, see those. they were going to ask if that we could lift some of them. Oh yeah, so no, we Sentry and Ayla are going to do that. Yeah, but was there something about vegetables? Not the there pumpkins, was. not vegetables. The pumpkins. No, it's like they, yeah. they basically for like all the big like town meals. Like if you like they do big group group kind of cooking. Um, and the, the fields need to go and be harvested, you know, mm. pulling up potatoes and carrots and all that kind of stuff. Let's just head that way, and we'll take this route around the point of interest that you're pointing towards. <laughs> I'm not pointing at anything. <laughs> Unless you're pointing at nothing. Maybe we should have a group nap. <laughs> there is a lot of pressure to relax, I'll be honest. I would definitely like to make a lantern before the final festivities start. Yeah, there is that. We also need to think about who we want to raise up to the heavens, and uh, not literally. What? Come on, <coughs> inappropriate. She recently died. I'm not gonna. Came back from the heavens. I'm not gonna. Okay. Half of me is still up there. I've done that too. Mm. Just FYI. Yeah, but you've had time to process it. Yeah, you're just, like so over it. <laughs> and if I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> I dwell on stuff. <laughs> You're fine. You're back now. It should be a day. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still fresh. No, nah, it's been like. <laughs> Got that it's new been body like, smell. It's been like two, three, three days. days yeah. Got that new body smell. Been, yeah, three, three, four days. <laughs> I think I was over it very quickly, mainly because I didn't want to role play it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep your body though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and all your stuff. <laughs> that's what I stole mine. All your scars. <laughs> anyway. So what do you want to do in the festival, guys? Vegetables? <laughs> vegetables. Vegetables. Or cooking, one of the two. Well, we need the vegetables. Vegetables! <laughs> <laughs> just reminded me of Taskmaster. That's <laughs> uh, old Greg Davis telling a funny story about that. Uh-huh. Uh, I've not seen it. It's just a funny story about him trying to get a, a fella he used to work with to say vegetables in a very <laughs> weird way. Okay. Stuck in my brain. Um... Yeah, you can make your way over to sort of like, you'll need to basically work your way down from where the, the settlement built into these three hills is. They basically have like stone steps carved into the hills and the, the mountains that lead down to the plains where the actual fields are, right? They don't actually have the farms on the hills themselves. Um, winding your way through and kind of moving your way across. It, there's kind of almost like, a, you know how like in Hobbiton, like the how Hobbit houses are built into the hills and it's all very green and they have the little fences and things like that. It's kind of got that Hobbiton cottage core vibe, um, but then, no, but the people here aren't little hobbits. They're these tall bunny people, like men and women. So you have to duck um, to kids. get into the doorway. No, they're, they're probably actually, because Lucius is quite tall. I think, like, Lucius, Ayla, and Sentry are Eight quite foot, tall, yeah. right? <laughs> um, but, like, Sentry's probably the only one who still has to kind of duck their head in a bit, because most Borough folk are, like, six foot 
on average. They don't account for the ears. Yeah. yeah. Sentry has to do that everywhere, though. Yeah, exactly. Have you thought um, about squashing instead of <laughs> ducking? <laughs> no. Oh, it's good for the core. Yes. Just so ease on the back, you yeah, know, yeah, work yeah. the thighs a bit. Yes. Um, you have the right to do it if you want to. Oh, thank you. It's not illegal here in the house. <laughs> when you are making your way round, uh, make sure it's squat right. Or... It just it means nothing it's to everyone. It's a pre-recording joke we I were know. having. <laughs> so stupid. It naturally <laughs> happened. No one's gonna get that. They didn't need to. I was <laughs> talking about centuries saving a bank. Yeah, yeah. that was absolutely right. Uh, you guys make your way round, and uh, when you are kind of. <laughs> beginning to make your way down, you can see that the stairs kind of leading uh, down to these fields. There's the fields themselves, and you can see these great stretches of like tilled earth and soil. Um, you can see these giant pumpkins. Like it looks like one patch, one field has been dedicated to just this competition of who can grow the biggest pumpkins. And it's just been taken over, and they're these ridiculously sized pumpkins. There's a couple of ones which are more smaller, but still impressive. Um, and then there's also seems to be a, another field, like an archery field. Like there have been like targets have been set up and things like that. Um, and that's probably the first time you actually see the um, wild elves. Like you've seen a couple like walking around just in general, but you actually recognize a couple of um, figures from distance because uh, you can see the bright red hair um, of and red tattoos of Rethra. Um, and you can see the white hair are uh, the sort of more frosted, ice kind of like snowy clothing of Morgaine uh, and then of Hunter Vanya as well, who kind of dresses in that thick um, Inuit kind of like big thick coat um, with a big furry hood um, and their ears just kind of like, there's like, you know, almost parts of the hood have been sewn to accommodate their longer elven ears and things like that. Um, and they're all <coughs> seemingly uh, enjoying some sort of competition with Sana and a bunch of the other uh, borough folk who are doing an archery competition. Um, and there's this older, much kind of, you know, whisk, like long whiskers and gray hair, old borough folk who seems to be like stringing bows and you can see these big kind of old, like older man muscles, you know, when like a, somebody who's like quite old but is like super jacked. Like yeah. that kind of figure. Um, and he's like stringing and testing these longbows and he's handing them out and they're, phew, taking shots with them and stuff. Cool. Um, but that's all downstairs, mm -hmm. uh, down by the fields. You make your way down. And yeah, as you begin to arrive, a couple of like young bird folk are like, oh, hello, 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 welcome. I, are you here to gather some, some vegetables or are you here for the <laughs> no. archery or yes. uh, you want to see the, oh, okay, okay, well, we can take you over there. Well, the uh, some will probably harvest, right? I, we could. Give it a go. Whatever it needs. I don't well, think if you, uh, if you want to eat. Like, yeah, we're going to be doing big, um, big sort of vegetable dishes later on. There will be a sort of uh, we do like our fried vegetables. Like we, we we do them in a sort of oil and batter, which is very nice. There's also a big sort of um, stir fried pot where we mix them in with spices and seasoning, and everything kind of gets all cooked together. And we do that with sort of local local uh, elements of the dish. Um, we also do sort of baked vegetables and things like that as well. Baked potatoes, that sort of thing. Baked carrots, uh, sweet glazed carrots. That sort of thing as well, um, candied apples, oh. uh, all sorts of things really. Um, so yeah, but you have to gather up and you have to take it up up into the village, up into into the into uh, the Star Watch and uh, into Star Watch, and then and then people will you know, give you food in exchange, basically. Oh, yeah. Help oh, so the only way we eat is if we get our own food. Yeah, basically, yes, yes. It's part of teaching that you know we have to gather up what we get from the land, and then we make that into the bounty of, of food, and it's very tasty and lovely. Uh, you know, a, a, a dinner that uh, follows hard work tastes better. So that's what we believe. Mm. I mean, I'm no good with archery or anything like that, so I'm happy to gather some stuff for the meal. Great. Who wants to? I'll help. Nova's with me. Me too. Sentry's with me. You guys archering? If archering. I'll archer for you if you gather for me. I mean, Sentry doesn't eat Deal. at all. What? Sentry doesn't eat at all, so anything she gathers. Well, I don't need to, but I enjoy the, the taste of food. All right. If it's strong enough. Well, Sentry's getting her own food then. <laughs> Um, you can gather extra if you want. We'll get extra. I'll sure. fire several extra arrows in your honour. Well, thank you. Oh, just so you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really work that way. No, you can't gather for somebody else. 
Everybody has to, everyone has to gather together. That's the part of it. You have to gather your own. Well, you don't have receipts, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't say that. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Certainly wow. when they overhear the conversation, it's definitely a like, oh, that's not really in the spirit of it. Like, um, we'll gather first. We'll all right, we'll food. gather I'll first. Gather. Okay, okay, I'm happy to gather. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll take you over. Yeah. Um, Howard's here. Huh? Howard's here. <laughs> no. No. I um, expect him to be. <laughs> you, uh, uh, I suppose the, the crew are actually the they're crew are the here. Yeah, they're on the ship, and like if you know, I think that they probably keep most of the wolf pack up there to protect it. But because it probably makes sense that like wolves. Penny and Lancian and Howard and that would wander down. Right, nice. Yeah. Okay, let's not go that way. I'm trying to avoid Howard actually because I didn't manage to get the fridge for him. I think After I was calm. All his gold. Well. He, again, he said he didn't gold. want the gold. He didn't care about the gold because it's not about yeah, gold for him. It's about friendship and family. Gold to at least get no, I friends. instead used some of our gold and got conned. Okay, I made a mistake, and I, I just don't, I well, can't face him right now. Make, a, get a fridge I'll, properly. Okay, I'll work to on the fair, fridge. To be fair, all he did was save Nova's life. Mm. Yeah. I, and I expected yeah. that the fridge would be ready for him. Do you know who Zim Zam Zambalor is? Why would you trust someone called Zim Zam Zambalor? Exactly. Why? Why do you trust someone called Kilak Ad Kalar? Did you meet him? Very in, similar name. Did you meet him in an alleyway? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I always. He accepted. I was I always a... told by my parents never to do deals with people in alleyways. That's just common sense. Yeah. It's shady. I left my family when I was one. They didn't have a lot of time to teach me these things. You're now three. Yeah? It's not a huge jump, though. I would have thought you would have learned that from all the stuff we've been through together. You're also really smart. But, Look. like, book smart. <laughs> Remember books? Brookstone? No, he's also, Quill's also quite wise as well. He's, oh, he's just Out of everyone, moron? he's quite smart and wise. Uh, What's wrong not with really you? An I am, however, trusting. We had a fair transaction. That's, that's a fool's game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you questioned me back yeah. in the day. You blew up the ship. But you, well, no, I did not at that point. Not at that point. Yeah, I saw the signs. But, but you couldn't question a weird man that you met in an alleyway who wanted money from you. How much? Did what you did he look like? The wizard. I don't know. I don't know what he looked Check. like. I think that's that's Tom. I think Quill would remember. <laughs> I can't Tom. remember. Um, but if, if Quill describes him, I mean, he describes what sounds like the a most homeless vanilla wizard man. man. <laughs> like, like a tattered robe, very wild, unkempt facial hair. Um, How much did you give him? You know, like Disney's Merlin with like yeah. the blue yeah. hand, like stars sewn on it and stuff. That's what Zim Zam Zimbalor looks like. He looks like a children's parody of a wizard, mm. but one that's been living rough in an alleyway for like five years. <laughs> and like stains So like it's all, all stained, yeah. like he's dirty, he's got wild eyes. What made did you he, trust him? Did he smell he, a bit too? No, well, a little, like, yes, well, yeah, quite, quite a bit, but he seemed to have the credentials. What so credentials? He, How did you know he was a yeah. wizard in the first place? You, is he was the only person who accepted the request, okay? <laughs> <laughs> of all the people there, he was the only one that accepted the request? I mean... So you trusted him, but you didn't trust me. To be fair... You blew up the ship! <laughs> After! I saw the signs! <laughs> As you guys are having this conversation, making your way, the borough folk... I'm going to speak to Howard, okay? I'm going to admit what I've done. <laughs> you know what, Quill? If, if I saw a little bird man in an alley... Asking if I could build a fridge, I'd probably take the money and run. You guys had your spa day. It wasn't so relaxing for all Quill, okay? <laughs> Young Quill, whatever. Think of the fridge. I'm gonna make my own fridge. Um, as you, as Quill is having this rant, <laughs> and you're being led over to this this vegetable patch, uh, you do hear there's a you know a group of various like um, burfo. You see some families gathering up some things. There is a there's like a cry like there's like oh not again get quick get him. Um, uh, and there's this kind of like kerfuffle as you see like a blur of movement, like quickly dash across and they're like a bunch of borough folk are chasing after it. And borough folk are pretty, pretty spry and pretty quick legged. But this thing is just woof, gone into like the, the the trees away. And they're like, oh God, we got, sorry everyone, we got to gather. And like they have to go back and they start filling up like another basket full of vegetables and things like that. Someone's stealing the food? 
Uh, what you call out to the group? Someone stealing the food? Yeah, like um, <laughs> one of them kind of turns around um, and they kind of look over and they're like, oh, hello, oh yeah, sorry. Um, we're just having a bit of a, a, a local animals causing some problems. Um, uh, if you're here to pick up the vegetable, you should probably be on the lookout as well. I, 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 I got distracted and I didn't see it run up and grab grab things out of my basket, so uh, you should probably be on the lookout. It's pretty fast, whatever that was. Yeah, 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 it is. It's um, it's a, it's a, it's a local beast. Uh, we call it a dash hog, um, and it's uh, they're just so fast. I see. <laughs> this is why you want us to go here. <laughs> Last week, you made a reference yes. like, oh, was it going to be like a Sonic reference? And I was like, you guys, that'd yeah. be ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> just, we did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like, man, whatever. Um, <laughs> we joke. Dash hog. Yeah. I love that. It's a dash hog. Yes. Is it like a, a group of dash hogs? That... Well, I mean, there's, we, there is a group of them, but they'll, they'll sort of spread themselves out and they wait because right. they know if they all kind of came at once that we'd be more cautious. So they sort of wait, they give it a few moments, but they'll run in grab what they can and they, they run off. Um, well, yeah, because they can't go fast. They Yeah, they go very fast. Yeah. Okay. They're very speedy. What color are they? Uh, they? They come in sort of different colors, really. Um, sort of browns and sort of grays. <laughs> Any... You did say a blue blur. I did not say a blue blur. No, I, <laughs> I did not we say a blue blur. blur. Yeah. Blue streak does not go by. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Street, Speed, Speed. Sonic the Hedgehog's <laughs> best, best theme. Best theme of any so show good. that they did. It's really good. <laughs> Is there something we can do to assist with the Dash Hogs? I mean, if you, yeah, you live with? If, no, I mean, we, we try and deal with them, but like, you know, if you keep a close eye out and sort of you can catch one before it grabs what you're trying to grab, then then they'll they'll leave, they'll they'll bugger off, but uh, you know, they, they'll, they'll try and risk it. But yeah, if you're sort of aware, you can try and prevent them grabbing things, but you know, don't they? They're quick. They're, you know, we think that they've got. You know, it's it's magic. It's they're sort of possess a natural magic from the land, so they are very very speedy. We can try and ward them away, uh, but I think the best thing is hold your baskets close. Don't put them down. You can't stick around. Got to keep moving on. Uh, the next line of the song. Got places to go. Got places to go. Got to follow the, the rainbow. <laughs> what rainbow? I don't know. Just... It's or is it a rainbow? Oh, right. That's actually yeah. like quite nice. I weather. guess there's only one way to find out. The weather conditions aren't right for a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I put it in there for you, so I can't be mad. Um, but the borough folk will give you some baskets. Uh, they're kind of like these little shallow wicker baskets. They say, like, you're, you're welcome to pick what you like, uh, anything you take up, um, you can use to cook, and or people will prepare for you. Uh, but you just got to gather it, and it's you know, it's hard work. You need to, you know. Pick up a few things and you know fill up your basket as best you can. It depends on how much you want to eat, really. Uh, if you're not that hungry, then maybe you just take a couple of things up there. But uh, if you want a full meal, you probably need to fill up the, the full basket. So um, yeah, they'll give you a basket each, um, and yeah, you guys can some gather up some some veggies. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So don't keep wary. Yeah. Um, Dash hogs. <clears throat> the way this works is it really depends on like how much food you want to get, like how difficult you want to make this for you. Um, can I split my focus yep. between gathering some bits but also laying out a trap? Oh, yeah. So, like, so I, oh, I dropped some things and things like that, leaving it like a little pile. I'm gonna create a, a fake fruit or something out of the ground that isn't an actual piece of fruit or vegetable. Vegetables. Fruit doesn't grow in the ground. Look, Mark. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I mean, um, there's bushes for like berries yeah. and things like that. So you can go gather. Just leave out a little pile, but I want what, to create. So, but you want to. Like, but what are you going to replace the food with? Like, what is this? Your painting rocks? It doesn't need to be rocks? replacement. I don't know why. And <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, yeah, a rock. You're going to get a rock and you paint it red like, like an apple, like, like, like a, Looney Tunes. It's like gluing a penny on the ground. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> nice. But yeah, something to like keep them there for longer than they need to be, and then I'm going to trap them. Okay. All right. So you're going to try and prepare a trap for a dash hog. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. But, you, but that means you're not going to gather that much food up for yourself. It's going to have to split my focus, yeah. Okay, all right, sure. Okay. Um, what about everyone else? Like, how, how hungry are people feeling? Because that, that basically determines the DC of, of your check of uh, doing the work. I think Sentry's excited to try all the new 
dishes you just heard about. So he's gonna quite, try. Yeah, get try a bit try of everything. To, to get a bit of everything. Okay. Yeah, Ayla as well. All right. Sounds like Nova in the same. Mm-hmm. I want to keep an eye out. All right, and so warn people as a lookout. So you want to play more lookout. like a lookout and not gather as much food. I'm like picking stuff, but okay. half the speed of everyone else because okay. I'm. In that case, <laughs> really whipping my head around. Uh, everybody needs to roll. Um, just a. This would be athletics because this is like physical work <laughs> oh, of like right. getting on your hands and knees and pulling up all the, f- the veggies and like you know. Minus two. Walking around, yes. Would I have long rested since claiming the uh, diamond of the Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was like six days ago. <laughs> Twenty. I haven't slept. You <laughs> just slept in the chair. That was yeah. a nappy. All right, so 26 <coughs> for Ayla. 27. 27 for Century. Sorry, what was the check? One. <laughs> That's athletics. <laughs> oh. It's a lower DC for you in time. I rolled a three, so you'll get 19 but I've got rolls. minus 19. two strength, uh, 12. so it's a one. 12, okay. Plus 13. All right. Just yeah. All right. Uh, Quill and Nova, uh, the, <laughs> the process, even though, Quill, you're still trying to keep a lookout, mm. just the effort of, like, half-heartedly picking vegetables. Oh, God, like, you're just so out of <laughs> breath and tired. Um, you're both going to have a level of exhaustion. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, it's oh, 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 like a good few hours. You've ever gone, like, you know, picking, but it's a long, long bit of work. But everybody else is, like, you're doing fine. Like, it's pretty nice. easy, you know, uh, laying it out. Um, I'd like Lucius to make a, if you're setting up a trap, I would call this stealth? Like, you sleight of hand? Sleight of hand, actually, yeah. Sleight of hand looks plus really well. two. <laughs> okay, perfect. And then Quill will be making... 14. A perception check. Will I? 14. Oh, every time you do this, you fail. You've got um, disadvantage on ability checks. You do. What, from level one? Because you're yeah. exhausted. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Every time you get cocky about a persuasion, uh, a perception roll, you, you fuck it. Yep, that's the three. Yeah, that's 21. I mean, it's still 21. <laughs> still um, fail. Still How fucking what? dare you. Um, <clears throat> so the rest of you, as you're kind of all working, uh, you know, the, mainly like Ayla, Century, Nova, like you're hard at work, like gathering and stuff, focused fully on like pulling up all the veggies and, you know, going around, you're gathering like all the different fruits on like the, the bushes and the trees, you know, and it's it takes a good couple of hours, like this whole process. Um, meanwhile, Lucius and Quill are still doing that, but I've got maybe like not even a half, like maybe even like a quarter of their baskets full of what you guys have got. Um, But you can see that Lucius has been sort of like setting things aside and like trying to set up this little clear area of like, I don't know, what's your trap? What what is your trap going to entail? I'm going to try and find a really big root vegetable. Okay. And I'm going to try and hide a spike in it (laughs) so that I can spike it into the ground. Okay. Oh. So that it's oh. hard to grab. Okay. Which gives me a, a bit of extra time. Sure. Okay. And I'm, I'm placing, now and again, I'm just coming back to that area and putting more vegetables around it to make it look really appealing. Really appealing, yeah. And I'm sure. just like okay. glancing back right. at it now and Perfect. again. Perfect. Um, out of all of you, uh, Quill is the only one who gets to act before the, the Dash Hog because he succeeded the perception <laughs> the check. Dash Hogs. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> Quill, as you're kind of doing all these things, uh, it would probably be, uh, I would say, let me make a, a check for these. I don't know, they're pretty, they're pretty smart. It looks like they basically, they t- can tell the Ayla and Sentry they're like avoiding Ayla and Sentry. So there are these three dash hogs. One comes for your like basket of stuff. One's gonna go for Lucius's like trap, and then the other one is going for Nova's kind of things. Um, and you're the only one who gets to react before them. Like they are like, they are come, they are a blur uh, as they come running out. And you can see that they are they they're probably uh, they count as like a small creature. They're like a kind of dog-sized hedgehog, um, kind of, and they've got these long kind of like quilled spines, and their feet almost kind of kick up the dirt, so you mm. can't see their legs. It's just like a kind it's of... just a circle. It's a circle, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Or I mean, it looks like that they're just rolling. They're like red they're, feet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. tell it's Nova that you can't to... can't see. If they had shoes, it's like there's just a blur of dust <laughs> yeah. under them. So it's like a little cloud of movement. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. I'm going to 
yell to Nova to hold her basket in the air, and I'm going to flap up. Okay. Fly, fly. So you fly up. So so Nova, you call the warning out to Nova, but it's too late for Nova. This thing's going to reach Nova beforehand. It's too late. Too late but you can fly up. So you grab your your thing and, and your just like talons up a bit, yeah. And then use your wings to so kind it's of fly out of up. range of their yeah small little hand. Well, how high up do you go? I'll go. These buckets can jump, can't they? <laughs> I'm going to go like. <laughs> just like 10 feet up. This is a small creature right. dashing towards me. 10 feet so up. So I'm only going to go 10 feet up. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, Lucius, you've got a trap. It, it goes for your root vegetables, right? It, it goes up and you can see that it scoops them all up and like almost like a chipmunk, like it opens its mouth and it stuffs uh, its cheeks with <laughs> these, these vegetables. Uh, you will get a chance to do that. Yeah. So it's because it's not going for your, your stuff directly. Um, so yeah, what spells do you want to cast? I'm going to quicken it so it's faster. Okay. Wall of Ice Dome. <laughs> Just around the thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming you want to create it so it doesn't like obliterate all yeah. the crops around you. You want to create like a care. smaller. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I'm all right. Do so it. you just create like a little, a little hedgehog-sized <laughs> dome, like <laughs> thump. Uh, all right. Yeah. Sure. So you, and you do hear a kind of like squeal. I've got it. <laughs> uh, Nova. That's no good. This is going to be. <laughs> you have to. It's athletics or acrobatics as spell. it's trying to grab. Can uh, I not thing. cast a spell? No, this is because like he. This was like it's trying to grab your basket. So you can, you. May, you can cast a spell after this, but this is to see it's if it can grab idea. your <laughs> grab your things. Yeah. Lucius's stuff was all on the ground, so it was on the ground picking it up. Ooh, that is a, that is not a d20. That's a d10. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, that's a natural <laughs> one minus. No, actually, plus three. Uh, four. Four. You are like, you like Quill's warning and you're like, what you, huh? And you kind of turn around and then before you know it, you see like pulling your basket down and maybe like half of its contents has been shoved into this little, you know, this dog sized hedgehog. It's like cheeks are like, it's drooling now. It kind of looks up at you and it's like, oh, and then it goes to run away and it starts running away again. You can potentially cast a spell on. Uh, I'm going to shout, Kayla, heads. And then I'm going to, cast Vortex Warp. Okay. Um, the fuck is that? What is Vortex Warp? <laughs> so the range is 90 foot, mm -hmm. um, and it needs to succeed on a constitution saving throw DC 19. Ooh. Uh, that is going to be 17, so it will fail. It fails, so it teleports to an unoccupied space of my choice, so I'm going to teleport it into Ayla's hands. Uh, un unoccupied means it can't go in Ayla's hand. Well, like you can do it like, like next to Ayla, yeah. but Ayla's still so. gonna have to grab it. You can't teleport yeah. it into her space. So, uh, but you can teleport it next to Ayla, yeah. and it kind of looks around like it's like confused as it's looking around. Uh, we'll give it a second because like you you weren't you know this is as everything else is going. So Ayla's gonna try and grab it. Quill, you fly up and it jumps. <laughs> it like like sees you fly up. And it, <laughs> it's going really fast. It's I thought Tails was going to come out. <laughs> oh yeah, two wing, yeah. two tailed fox is going to fly down. Uh, this is going to be with that with it athletics. Yeah, that's twenty on an athletics check. It jumps up into the air and it's going to grab onto your basket and it's going to try and pull you down. Can you oh. make an athletics check? Pull me down is yeah. a small creep. Well, uh, it's athletics. going to try and pull the basket out of your hands, basically. Oh, oh, and I've got disadvantage as well. Well, that's a one. Can it get lower than that? No, two. So you're flying, Damn. and you're just like, there's no way it can reach. It jumps, it like grabs the basket and almost tips it, like swings <laughs> on it. All the food goes, like drops out of it, and it lets go, and then in the air, it kind of quickly shoves it all in its mouth. <laughs> it lands. And it does take a little bit of damage as it lands. It kind of goes, boom, and it goes, <gasps> <laughs> speeding off again. So right now you've got two dash hogs, one in front of Ayla and the other one speeding off away from Quill. Um, Ayla and Sentry, what do you guys want to do? Um, do I see the one that's near Quill? Yeah, you see it. Yeah, yeah. You both cool. see. Like you both are aware of this now. Can I cast locate creature? Yeah, yes. So I can keep track of it. <laughs> okay. Um. So that would be your action. Is you're like that hog, that dash hog, that one. locate creature. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then I guess I'll just like try and chase it. So you just start running after it. Do, do yep, terminate sure. running after it. Yeah, sure. What's your movement speed? Thirty That's feet. Great. Yeah, thirty feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna. It is ahead of you. It's. Yeah. Uh, its movement speed is sixty feet base. Um, without good. dashing. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, okay. 
60 feet. So you just start so running after like... this thing, like the Terminator run. Yeah. Yep, nice. Um, and it, it is making, it's running for the forest, basically. So next next turn, it will get to the forest. Um, Ayla, what about you? Can I hold my basket in one hand and pick the... Try and grab it. Try and grab the one. Athletics check. Five, so 18. 18. It is a hedgehog. So you take four points of piercing damage, but you <laughs> like g- grab its spines and like literally pick it up and it's like <laughs> its little legs are like <laughs> in the air. Um, and it's kind of like <laughs> look, it looks terrified. You have grappled it. It is it is Can I like hold out my basket for her to shake the stuff into? Uh, you can, can do. I sh- is it uh, holding anything at the moment? Uh, is it all in its cheeks? Sorry. It's all in its mouth, yeah. It's just like, it doesn't have hands. It's not like a person. It's got okay. legs. Um, oh, is it not like... Uh, I would like to think it had a little raccoon. I mean, it does. Hand. It has like hedgehog, like little hedgehog paws, right? But it's not like... They're, they're it's not rabbits. big enough to be like... Yeah, it's little still an animal. Rabbits. It's still um, technically an animal. I will look it straight in the face oh. with his chubby little cheeks and be like, spit it out. Uh, you can make an animal handling shake, or an shake intimidate it. check. Can I shake it? You can. You can have advantage. If you shake it and you use intimidate, I'll give you advantage. Okay. But if you want to um, use animal handling, it's just uh, animal handling. No advantage. I'll do an intimidate. All right. You get advantage. Because of shake. Uh, oh, I rolled a six and a five, so that's only 12. <laughs> uh, 12 is enough, I'd still say. Like, if uh, it kind of is like... Blah. <laughs> just all the saliva covered vegetables. And I think it goes, poof, poof, poof. and it looks at you. <laughs> Don't do it again. Go away. I'll yeet it. <laughs> you yote it. Uh, yote. It lands. Uh, it looks back. It grins and it's got one carrot in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and it just runs off into the forest. Yeah, uh, you right. run. So, Lucius, you have one trapped under an ice dome. I think that spells like, what, 10 minutes? Here's you your keep saliva, there, so. Veg. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Yeah, 10 minutes concentration. I mean, what, what do you want to do at this point? I have a planned ahead. I've got it. What do you plan on doing here? I don't know, but it hasn't got the veggies. Well, then. Well, it has the ones that were you put in the trap. Yeah. It has those ones. But I've still got my bus. You've still got your bus. Half. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to just spend the 10 minutes just gathering my own okay, vegetables. Okay, just like picking up a and few then more veggies. Like nine minutes, <laughs> I'll make furious. it really far away from the Okay, room. and then you'll let it just go. Just let it go. All right, nice, okay. So I guess the only one still remaining is Sentry. You watch as this thing speeds into the woods. Uh, it gets to the edge of the field and it just goes into the woods. It moves about. It would if it dashes, it goes 120 feet. Yes. Oh, so like you were like, and it just quickly like gets ahead of you and ahead of you. Um, so wait, where is it before you have it uses its dash? Huh? Where is it before it uses its? It would have been like yeah, about 30, 60 feet away from Sentry. Okay. Or 30 feet because Sentry moved 30 feet. Okay. Well, like, can I? But yeah, it has the initiative technically, so it would move first. What I feel like Sentry's gonna go. I sunbeam the <laughs> kill it. Um, I might try and you speak with animals. Okay. Um, yeah. It, at that point, it would st- it would be like 120 feet away from you. It's at the edge of this wood, but you can it could probably still hear you if you spoke to it. Yeah. I'll right. just like shout, stop. Okay. So you can't speak with animals, and then you're like, stop. <laughs> yeah, just like, stop it. Come, come here. Right. Stop. Make an intimidate check with uh, advantage because you use speak with animals. But now this one can speak back. No. Oh, I want to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> you know what it's going to say. I know what it sounds like, yeah. 19. 19. That's pretty good. It's pretty decent. It like turns around and goes like, hey, what do you, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> it's my vegetables. Oh, no. You can't catch me, I'm too fast. Oh. I don't belong to you. <laughs> too fast, too slow. Can't I don't care me. if you're fast. You're naughty. Yeah. S- <laughs> <laughs> You're too slow, rock lady. <laughs> and then it just goes. 
<laughs> does it make physically? Does it with the mouth make the sound? No, it doesn't make the sound. That's the when it moves its legs. Its saying, legs like, move does, so fast. Does he make the mouth sound effects? Its mouth is always on the camera side of its face. Though. Yeah. never in the middle. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, does it make it sound effects? Because if I it could go fast, definitely I could doesn't have like big effects. teeth as well. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, big, just teeth. <laughs> too slow. Also, one big eye, <gasps> two pupils. Um, yeah, unfortunately, an attitude. Uh, yeah, they do have. They unfortunately, <laughs> they've, it's got got some attitude. Got some tude. Yeah. Oh, no. Got some tude. Um, at this point, yeah, Lucius can sort of gather up his veggies, move to the side, <laughs> let the other one go. Um, but unfortunately, I think Nova uh, and Quill, you are not going to have. Uh... Oh, I have my saliva. Well, that's veggies. true. If you want to gather up your saliva-covered veggies, it's you better can. Better than nothing. All right, Wash okay. them off. It's All right. fine. Yeah, sure. Don't put that in the big bowl that's shared, please. No, no, I'm going to wash it off. He'll be fine. Please. Gross. <laughs> I lost all mine. It jumped at me. I didn't think it would jump. It's like a couple of bits and bits, but it's not much. Yeah, mostly Have smoke. a parsnip. Thanks. <laughs> They're so fast. They are. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And rude. So I just, rude. I thought they'd listen to you, to be honest. Oh, you just they gotta give them a the talking to. You just shake yeah. them a bit. They just need to open their heart. They just... So rude. I've never heard anything so rude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Never. Never. <laughs> Not about the wolf pack. Yeah, no, the wolf pack are pretty. Yeah, they're I quite respectful to Sentry. Mm, I'd say they were, they were. They're tough, you know, rough and tough. You live right. with me. Yeah, he lives yeah, with some. I wouldn't pretty... say you were rude. I don't think you're rude. We're making improvement. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the borough folk farmers who kind of gave you the baskets, they'll take the baskets back and they give you these kind of um, like sacks that you can tie up and put all your veggies in. Um, and carry with you, so you can oh. like take them back up. Uh, they will also. They've got like a bucket of water, and they'll wash off uh, your your Goop. yeah goopy saliva covered vegetables. Mm. They'll be like, yeah, it happens quite regularly with the dash hogs. Like it's fine. They, they you know they they don't carry any sort of diseases or anything. We'll just wash this off. It should be fine. Mm. Like, it's just a bit of. You know, it's no different to having a bit of dirt on it, is it? So you know, just extra protein. Wash it off. Um, yeah, are, you are you are free to continue as you wish. Mm -hmm. You can hear some sort of like cheers coming from the archery range nearby. You can hear some arguments coming from the giant pumpkin patch. Um, I reckon those farmers are very competitive over there. You can hear them shouting for their pumpkins. Yeah, yeah. I could go check it. I mean, I'm no good at gathering. These hogs are too fast for me. We could Way double check. Fast. Make sure no one's cheating. Yeah, how do you cheat in a? Essentially, a size competition. One could be a fake pumpkin that's been inflated. Oh. Or an illusion. Oh. Yes, yeah, magic. Big, yeah, magic big pumpkin. School of illusion. Sorry, I've been Although is it, running. Is it right for, you know, a group of people that don't live here to come in and start accusatory pointing fingers? Well, yeah. I don't want to ruin the festival at all. For, for anyone. We can do it diplomatically. We're good at that. We're not. Exactly. I can definitely handle it. You want to go over there and rough up some pumpkin farmers? No, I'll just I'll use my words and stuff, you know, because I'm really good at it now. Apparently, yeah. That hog listened to you. I mean, you'd shake it shake a lot. It. Shake it. Yeah. You have a feeling the shaking might have been more effective than Ayla's actual words. It got shook pretty hard. Yeah. All right, okay. what do you want to do? Let's stop by the farmers on the way. So no to archery now? I guess we could do archery. I Great. thought you didn't want to. I don't want to, no, I'm no good at it. I'm just saying. That's it's also, also we, where the people we want to meet are. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't have to necessarily... That is like, true, we could get an update on the beasts. Yeah. We should probably do that. It is very easy to get swept up in it, I see now why... Exactly, see, if yeah. you were here earlier, you would have been in that house sweeping. Sweeping, yeah. I'm so glad I wasn't. Anyway, let's go see the wild elves. Yeah. Okay, good. Vethra, Morgane, and... So you want to go over to those the guys? The other one. Right. You're good at archery. And then... Mm, good at hitting things. With a bow. Mm. You've got a bow. Mm. You I use do. a bow. Not only if I have to, though. It's way better to just hit something right in the face. Well, I know, I'm just saying. I tried to aim something once and I couldn't even hit a stained glass window, so... I remember. It was really embarrassing yeah. for everyone involved. with a gun, which is much easier yeah. than a bow. Oh well, okay. so I'm not going to try because I might actually hit someone. So, we could do some archery? Archery? Yeah. Let's at least go archery? speak to them. We could get some useful information. Yay. Does Eldritch Blast count as archery? No. Oh. Oh, well, I hope it doesn't. 
Anyway, I'm going to walk this way. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to move behind me, I'm going to say bye. <laughs> <laughs> We're all walking with you. I was going to say, <laughs> there is a, such a thing as walking and talking. Um, all, all I need to be told is that's what we're Archery. doing. Archery. And then we're doing it. Nice. You make your way over. Um, you pass the, the farmers. Uh, it doesn't look like necessarily they're like, arg like, there's arguments, but like no sort of like accusatory arguments. It's more arguments how they're going to get the pumpkins up to the village. Uh -huh. And lots of like, you idiots, you made them too big. We can't, we can't carry that kind of arguments more oh. than I see. Um, but when you make your way over to the archery range, uh, Sanna um, and a few Barafoka are kind of in light conversation with the Wild Elves. It looks like that they've stopped sort of shooting, the, you know, whatever archery contest they were doing is over or they're not interested in anymore. And they're just having sort of conversations. Some of them are sort of sat on the ground. Um, you can see the Wild Elves look a little bit uncomfortable, but they're sort of like sat around or standing around uh, chatting away, examining the bows, sort of admiring the craftsmanship. Um, the old borough folk is kind of like sat there on like a like a fence around the range and he's just kind of sat there his big sort of like feet sort of dangling off the side and he's smoking out of like one of those kind of uh, corn kind of like pipes like kind of shaped from like dried corn cob kind of thing he's like he's like, rah, rah, and he's like having a deep conversation with the wild elves um when you begin making your way over santa probably spots you all first and just sort of is like hey hey it's you guys and kind of like waves over and Hello, it's like, like good to see you again she's kind of like calls you over like hey Morgan it's the others and they, she kind of directs your attention as you guys make your way over um, she comes probably come, comes bounding down kind of comes up like he's doing that look of like handshake hug handshake hug sentry hugs alright so she hugs sentry and she'll go around and be like ah, it's good to see you good again good to see you again um, she comes down like mm. oh yes you, you know me yeah, yeah, big, <laughs> big and you know yeah wraps her arms around like mm. does the same thing for everybody um kind of looks around um and says i think you i think you've met most of the the wild elves here they've we've sort of been talking about what we're going to be doing uh that's old cob and she points to the old uh the old, old cob yeah that's uh that's cob uh he's the he's like a, an artisan he's a bowman and a, a boa uh, around here uh, oh, we, we heard the competition. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> we, hello. We uh, heard the competition you were having. It sounded quite lively. We were trying to gather ingredients for the food, and the hogs kept. Well, they stole. Uh, the food. Exactly, exactly, and yeah. it was uh, it was a struggle. But um, I, I hope you had a had a good competition. Yeah, the wild elves kind of like look around, and uh, Morgan's like, we don't normally do kind of. Uh, Archery's for a purpose. It's not just for fun and games, but these borough folk seem to be interested, so we figured that we'd shoot a few rounds. Vanya put us all to the shame, as I expected. And Vanya, who, like, doesn't... You can't really see much of Vanya's face except this big kind of, like, bristly elven beard um, and then these thin snow goggles, like, these kind of, like, uh, like thin wooden mask, like, thin slits for the eyes. And then they're, most of them is covered up by this giant hood. Um, it looks like if they were wearing that in sort of, like, hot weather, they would be absolutely dying of sweat in there. Like, they're covered in, like, thick furs and, like, this thick kind of uh, hunter's coat. Um, they just sort of like nod silently uh, in the direction, um, and uh, yeah, they just sort of, oh, it's fun, I suppose, a way of passing the time before we uh, get everyone together, get everything ready. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, congratulations on your victory, Vanya. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, we are happy uh, to talk about the beasts whenever it's 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 up to you obviously we don't want to disrupt the festival at all um Cobb, the old is like oh, no, it might be. <laughs> he's fine with it so <laughs> who knows I, might not be no i read him like an open book somehow <laughs> yeah so let's um i mean we've, we've kind of come up with some Big kind of thick eyebrows like, almost <laughs> you can't see his eyes his eyebrows are like so thick like a like a Disney cartoon almost like where he's got the big the huge eyebrows that cover his entire face um, uh, and so it's like yeah well, I mean we can uh, I think Varnier and Morgan have got the most information about it uh, if you want to talk about the great beasts uh, I think it's still was probably still got a day or two before everyone arrives but if you want to talk about stuff they're the best ones to ask I'm just sort of here more as a representative of borough folk from other lands more than anything I'll be coming with you of course but not really much more I can I can add um, I think this and and uh, you can see Rethra this uh, other wild elf has been sort of like quietly kind of stood at the back hasn't really said anything or approached um, but the last time 
you saw Rethra was just after you kind of like brought them back to Erois after you'd rescued them out in the astral space. Um, but there's a couple of differences. They look a lot more healthy. They look like they've like eaten, like before they were pretty malnourished. Um, they were muscular, but they were like thin, scrawny, like they hadn't eaten or been like properly fed. They look a lot more uh, sort of put together now, cleaner. Um, they no longer have the chains. They had these kind of like elemental chains around their, their wrists and the actual chains were hanging down. Those have gone. Um, and uh, they also have like new outfit, including a, a strip of tartan similar to Ayla's, but it's of their own, like it's of different colors. Um, and uh, they've sort of like added to their gear and they're now dressed more similarly to like a wild elf that you might encounter on a Rois. Um, the other thing is that on their back, they seem to have a kind of a double hafted axe. Uh, so it's like an axe uh, with two ends, like two axe ends on a single long Sweet. staff. Um, the battle axe. Yeah, like two, but two battle axes joined together. So like a on double. both ends. Yeah. 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 Cool. On both ends. That's cool as hell. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the middle of it almost looks like twisted iron. Like the section in the middle almost looks like cool. twisted iron. Like separatable. Possibly. Possibly. Pretty cool. Damn. But it doesn't really, just kind of like, stays behind the other two, doesn't really say too much. Not quite sure why, or they're just being quiet, but yeah, kind of like keeps themselves. Well, it is lovely to see you all again since the summit. Um, apologies that it's been so long. There's been quite a lot going on uh, for us, uh, but mm. we're here now um, and ready to take down the beast. Have you uh, determined which ones you might be facing yourselves? Oh, was that was that not explained to you by um, the yep. firewoman, the phoenix that we spoke to? They're all to? in the same one. Oh no, it was. We Just wanted to hear it from you. Some, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and we are all going after the same one together. We're all hunting Stormmore, if I'm correct in my assumptions. That's right. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's uh, Vanya, right. <laughs> myself, and our clan have been. We've been tracking Stormmore while it's here on Alsarath. The Borough folk have been aiding us and helping us with that. Uh, this one, and she kind of gestures back to Rethra, came and sought us out after they heard from other wild elves what we were doing and asked to join us. Uh, that's really it. Going good. Rethra, Ayla is super uncomfortable yeah. because she's feeling like this pressure of being like, oh God, there's wild elves here and yeah. I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, they, uh, yeah. yeah, Rethra will kind of look up and he'll like nod and he just says, I'm doing well, thank you. Good to see you again, Ayla. I just didn't really know what to say or anything. Um, the last time I saw you, I think uh, I didn't really know how to thank you properly for what you did, but uh, in my journeys, I've, I've really come to find myself here, so thank you. It's just, uh, it's unusual, I'm not used to talking this much. No, it's shit, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I hate um, it. But thank you. Uh, just saying. You look yes. really good, Rathra. Thank you, I feel better. Um, being here, the sort of horrors that I endured on Azagrat, managed to put sort of behind me at least a little bit. But, uh, uh, the wild elves have been very kind. They see me, they've, they've welcomed me as one of their own. So Sounds I've done wonderful. a lot of traveling around, learning about the culture of the elves here and uh, bringing a little bit of the knowledge of what I know and what I've since learned about Callus and, and the wild elves, uh, trying to pass on what I know at least a little of. Uh, yeah, not a lot of people know the, the full actual story of that, so. Uh, no, but it's, uh, the wild elves I've spoken to don't seem to care all that much. Uh, as far as they're concerned, it's been generations of life here on Erois. To them, it doesn't really matter. Uh, they are what they are now, and that's, that's something that's brought me comfort. That sort of <laughs> not caring, almost. Uh, Did you make that axe? Yes, yes, I did, yes. It's, uh, I think last time I saw you, I was still carrying the chains that I carried from Azagrat when you rescued me. Uh, part of the process, and I wore those chains for a long time when I was here, but part of my journey has been discovering a new life, a new self, and uh, when I was welcomed into a, uh, I learned about the, the cloth and points to the tartan, that this tartan, when they told me about it and what it means, uh, I was invited to create one of my own, being a clan of one. They told me to create my own and that one day, perhaps I would join another and the two would become merged, inter intermingled. Um, when I made that, I figured that it was time to let go of the past. And so 
and he reaches around, he brings out this double axe. He's like, I uh, use the chains to create this. And he speaks a command word, he says in, in Elven, uh, unmake, and the middle bit turns into a chain and it kind of and he can, and then he speaks make, and it whoosh, snaps back to wow. him. I didn't expect the chain in the middle. That's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, that's it's that, the twisted yeah. iron. You can see now it wasn't just twisted metal. It was chain that had been like magically warped into a solid oh. form. And then when he speaks it, it kind of and then. That's very impressive. It's useful. Uh, it's not powerful in the same way and he kind of gestures to the howling templist and like starbreaker it's i i can tell the strength of your armaments is greater than this but it's useful i can uh, he kind of demonstrates it he'll like go to like a nearby tree he unmakes it and he can almost use it like a grapple and he pulls himself like he speaks the command word and it kind of snaps him up to it oh, and wow. stuff and then he kind of jumps back down and kind of like seems to, seems to be like <laughs> like has that like childish like Nervous, Look proud, yeah, yeah, like he's like, I made this, and they think it's cool, kind of thing. Like he's kind of got that going on, um, and like he uh, kind of like sheepishly comes over. He's like, it's it's been useful, uh, but it was also the process of making something new out of yeah. what I was, uh, leaving that past behind, creating a new future. Yes, that's kind of how I see it. Yeah, it's uh, I didn't have one before. Azagrat was a prison in a lot of ways. Now I have a future. I make my own choices. And this was the f this was one of the first ones I did. Um, it's very it sort of went nods. Well, speaking of as a grat, we uh, we met old grats again. Uh, kicked his ass. Good. Yeah. Real good. The second time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, deserves nothing less. Deserves far far worse, no doubt. Um, yeah, we're not entirely convinced he's gone for good. However, kicked his ass the second time if mm. needs be. Even if you manage to. Even if you were to defeat him in a battle, I'm sure that a being like Gratz doesn't just disappear. It's, he's not a mortal creature like the rest of us. I'm sure that part of him would live on and be reborn in some form. Creatures like that don't tend to just be something you can defeat so easily. But uh, I'm sure it was humbling to have uh, somebody who can actually stand up to him and bite back, perhaps. Well, next time, if there is a next time, we'll let you know, let you get a few hits in. <laughs> I thank you for the offer, but I, d I see no need for it now. I'm quite happy. I'm happy more to protect this place, protect this world now. Oh, wonderful. Uh, and Morgana say, yeah, yes. Uh, it's, uh, I think that's true for all of us. We've got a lot to protect here. Yes. Forge, uh, what did I call the name for? Uh, for what? Uh, Forge Sworn, she'll, she'll say like, yeah, Forge Sworn has been a great asset to you, uh, us in all of this. Um, and she gestures to Rethra when she, she says Forge Sworn, but she refers to Rethra. Um, it's a cool name. It's cool. Name, cool name. It's, it's a name that we, we give, and, she, and she'll say it's like, uh, uh, Stormwalker, that was it. Mm. Well, it's tradition that those of us who are blessed with the, the primal gifts in my in our clan, it's always been frost blessed. That's why I more gain frost blessed. It's a name that I've carried down in generations. <gasps> you have a last name. Yeah, those. Yeah. Sure. You got one now. Never well, really. It's yeah. More of a title than a name. Well. Yeah. But to us, it's. Uh, we would refer to the one you call Ayla as Stormwalker. This one is Forge Sworn. It's very cool. Mm. The great beasts, uh, Stonemore, we believe it's still vulnerable to ice and cold mm -hmm. and to lightning. So, uh, but that won't last. We will have some dragons to call in, but they're, they won't be too effective. Think of them more as um, if we feel the need to do a great burst of ice or lightning, uh, we can call the dragons in to use their breath, but if they use it once, the creature will become resistant, uh, not just to the dragon's breath, but to any form of ice or lightning that we use. So consider that a sort of um, desperate option if we need to deal a sudden burst of, of powerful uh, magic or damage to the creature. That should be called in as a resort, but just keep in mind that from then on in that battle, it will likely adapt and become uh, 
resistant. Um, it happens that it, quickly. Yes, it does, yeah. The immunity takes longer, but um, resistance is very quick. Uh, likewise, with our weapons, we'll need to be careful. We can only damage it. We'll only have a few opportunities to really damage it with, with weapons, with spells, and things like that. And every time we do it, it will become... It will adapt. It will change to it every time we do it. Uh, have you found a way of approaching it that maybe would be beneficial to mm. people on land? Yeah, I mean, we'll surprise it. We'll ambush it. Okay. Uh, and she'll look to Vania. Vania can tell you more about that perhaps another day, but uh, we have plans. We'll stake it. We'll, we'll, it's, it's like any beast, really, uh, apart from this strange mutation, this adaptability that it seems to possess. Um, it is like any other beast. We can trick it. We can lure it. Uh, it is drawn by prey. Uh, we can hide from it, it senses it. It has a uh, very strong sense of smell. Mm. Its hearing is quite good, its vision is quite good, but they are all things that can be fooled. Uh, the wild elves of Alsarath have survived against deadly creatures in this area. We know how to hide ourselves, we know how to disguise our scents, how to lure beasts off track. Um, so we'll ambush it. Uh, the main thing will be dealing with its armor, uh, the plating that's grown across it. Um, Vanir, do you want to talk about that? And the sort of old hunter will be like, I can talk about that. The, the creature has plating all over its body. You need to, we'll need to get on top of the creature or onto its body. We have ways of doing that. We have devices um, similar to this one's fancy axe that he's made. Uh, devices that can dig into the armor and then we can pull ourselves uh, up to it. But then with great force, we'll need to separate its plates, rip them off, uh, break them off, do whatever we can to destroy the armor. That will expose the vulnerable parts of its body underneath. That gives us a limited window in which we, in which we can strike, in which we can do damage, try and harm the creature as best we can. The armor plating grows back rapidly, very quickly. Uh, and then the creature also, once once we're on top of it, it will try and shake you off, get you off of it as quickly as possible. So it will be a case of rapid movements. One group engages, gets on top of it, tries to damage the plating, whilst the others prepare to un, uh, launch their attacks once it's available. And we might need to cycle and rotate those groups around as we proceed. Um, oh, wow. You want us to be part of that team? Absolutely. Absolutely. I believe the others all have airships and sailing ships and cannons and all sorts of other weaponry to use. We're doing this the old-fashioned way, as I like. Uh, proper hunters. So yes, your strength, I'm told, is quite impressive. Your magic and your, your skill at arms will be necessary. We certainly have plate-removing strength, and we have pain-inflicting abilities mm -hmm. for after the fact. Yes, exactly. Speed? Well, that's where we'll come in. We'll, we can help with certain elements of this. We can strike, but we are, I doubt we have the same strength and capabilities you do. But we can do things like help hide, launch the ambush. We can help get on, get you on top of the beast to distract it, that sort of thing. Uh, it's likely only Rethra and Morgain that will actually be able to help you in any sort of physical act of damaging the creature. The rest of us will focus on keeping its attention or distracting it in the best way that we can. Stopping it from shaking us off. Well, as best we can, I. Is there a tactic to what kind of damage we should be focusing first? Should we cycle through like the dragons have been doing? It's definitely recommendable, yes. So like I said, decide. it will become, it takes a bit of time, but uh, because of the armor plating, the, the creature's flesh underneath, we think it will take longer for it to adapt to it, but it will adapt to it. So, you know, things like, me and my hunters will be on hand with bows. We can, you let us know when to strike, we'll fire a volley. We can probably do a good bit of damage, but multiple attacks like that in one brief moment, the creature will quickly adapt to it. It'll probably become resistant to our arrows from that point onwards. Um, if you use a blade to slash and cut, it might quickly adapt to that as well. Uh, as I said, immune, outright immunity takes time, but resistance becomes quite quick. Uh, so cycling through what powers and abilities that you have is recommended. So strike hard and fast. Aye. Well, use different well, weapon good. types and use different magic that you can. Uh, whatever, whatever we can do. Is there such a thing much. as sorry, striking too hard? 
Not really, no. I mean, the harder we strike the creature, the quicker it will become resistant to that type of damage. If you were to unleash a blast of, I don't know, magical lightning, a really powerful blast of magical lightning akin to a dragon's breath, for example, that will probably trigger the creature to react. Uh, the mutation process as well has effects um, we've seen creatures that when they've attacked it, when the dragons attacked it, whenever it would mutate and adapt, it will almost harm things around it to give it a moment to regenerate or to uh, change. Uh, it's regeneration as well. Um, we don't exactly know how to stop it, but we do know that it is possible to outpace it. It, it cannot regenerate too much at once. Hmm. Okay. And also defeating all three at the same time. Yeah, something, apparently either you have wizards or enchantresses or some such that have devised a a way of us dealing with that. Sending stones, That's, right? We yeah. leave that in your hands. Yeah, we can communicate, it's just, obviously we don't want to defeat ours uh, too quickly or too slowly. Um, it may be a case of if the others are slower to harm their beast, we may need to just weather ours attacks for a period of time. Uh, we can try and lure it away, we can try and flee into the forest, take cover, hide, that sort of thing, but you may also just be, you may just need to weather its attacks for a, a brief moment to allow the others to catch up. All right. Like we can outfit team. you. We'll have, we'll outfit you. We've got outfits and equipment prepared for you. Um, things like your bright clothing and things like this, this, you can't, you won't be able to wear that. Well, <laughs> let's not be so hasty. No, you can't. It will, well. it will give us away. You need to disguise yourself you in proper you, hunter's garb. You've already made. Well, it's been yeah, it's been made for you. Yeah. What tailor do you use? I don't understand what this word is. Uh, who who constructed the armor? Um, oh, it would be one of our hunters. One they of the make, hunters. Make fine, they make fine camouflage cloaks. Fine things. camouflage cloaks. Camouflage. Goody. Yeah, like greens, browns, that sort of. Depends. We're, we're expecting to fight stone more in the uh, in the forests here on the southern side. Yeah, so probably greens and browns, oranges, that sort of thing. Mm. Is that Very. good for you? Or? Well, not not this season. Okay. But it's fine. Needs must. Yeah. Same with smells. You'll be need you. You'll have to make sure that you are uh, what you eat. Uh, you cannot cl you cannot bathe. Once we begin the hunt, it will be. You'll need to smell like the earth. We need to disguise our presence as best we can. To okay, now damage. you're joking. No, I'm not. Unless you want to be baked. Mm -hmm. Well, how, how long is it going to take? Um, obviously, the not eating particular foods you were saying. How long between us leaving to actually maybe encountering the monster? It depends. The beast moves at storm or moves around. We expect about three days. Three days. <laughs> Three days. That's very funny, everyone. <laughs> Good one. Festival, frivolities and all that. I don't understand. I am not going to not bathe for three days. You are, or we will all die. You have done it once before. Strong smells will give away. If the creature smells something unfamiliar, it could, you may not even, you might scare it off, move it away from the ambush site, we'd lose our moment of surprise. It's just the whole world. I don't world. understand why you wouldn't do this. Trying to. Yeah, you know. it's for the good of, you know. Heroic days, it'll fly by. <laughs> Time's relative, century. Well, if sorry. Morgane's just looking at Ayla, just that's... like, how do you put up with this? <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Down here in the lowlands, where you have to survive. Yeah. We've been pretty spoilt. You on airship. Once before when we first met. Yeah. Remember all the Still time. Still keeps me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll find a way. This is probably our most difficult battle yet. There's we taking have, all this into consideration. <laughs> <laughs> there are three titan giant monsters, but luckily we're against just one of them. Uh, it's just. <laughs> Making sure we coordinate properly. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. 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 What is it? Scenario time. Okay. Right. Cone of cold. I like to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a whiff of my armpit. You're not. Gonna, you're not. Gonna you're not gonna get a whiff. You're okay. Firstly, you're on the back of a giant monster. Well, someone else smells it, and then I'm like, oh my god, I'm so We're sorry. All gonna smell I couldn't. The same. Oh, you're all going to smell like. We're this. also gonna be well, on the back of a beast that also hasn't washed for Probably. many, many beasts. Not tried. Understood. 
Exactly. But that's the, the smell of the beast is going to massively o- overpower the smell of three day old Lucius armpit. I'm not convinced my brother washed and you were fine with him. Um, I mean, Vortensar was on the verge of complete destruction. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so is Arois. I just need to be distracted, I guess. I think you'll be distracted. Yeah. You'll be distracted. Yeah. Sana will be, come over and be like, Lucius, before we head out, we'll make sure that you have, we can have the, the nice hot bath prepared for you here in the village. We can get all the <laughs> nicest scents and aromas, get all the, the local luxurious things that we can muster for you. So you can at least have the next couple of days in pampered quality. That sounds wonderful. Right. Thank you, Sam. We can do that. That's fine. He's I'm still sure, got a dusty I'm sure Mama handprint Bright tail won't back. mind. On the back of his cloak, he's still just got can't a imagine hand. being unclean. Mm. You're unclean right now. There's a. Have you seen this? What? There's a, there's a thing on the back of your. What do you mean on, on the, the back? back of your cloak. Very funny, no? No, look, like very see, good. See, look here. Oh, there. we're all. Ah! <laughs> oh my! Ah, it's on my hands. It's just black soot. Yeah. yeah. Disgusting. You've had that there for quite a while. You know when Ayla tapped you on the back? I'm preparing you for what's ahead. It's just one handprint. It's fine. It wasn't so you bad don't even until know. you noticed. But yeah, I think uh, it's a very good plan. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I look forward to working with you all. Well, yeah. as you're chatting, you see out the corner of your eye, you see Briar has got a bunch of like discarded arrows and has made a, like a ball of right arrows. on his side. And he's like, he, you see him. <laughs> like whilst you've all been having this conversation, he's snuck away from Sentry and he's gathered up this ball of arrows. <laughs> and like, he looks at you because he sees that you've seen him. Sentry. Miss <laughs> Quill? You're... Like, what? Stop. What? Stop it, come back. Your, your thing, it's stolen some arrows. Briar? Briar! Briar! Stop Bri- him. Bri- when Sentry looks around, uh, Briar is just stood next to like a, like a little block of like a little hay bale, and he's just like looking there, he's like empty handed, he's what? like... What? <laughs> he's got, there's no ball. What? Briar, if you're gonna wander off, at least let me know where you're going. And then he walks over to you and he like puts his arms up Come like... Come here! Yeah. Where are the arrows? You Didn't have a ball of arrows. You've got to, don't wander off without telling me where you're going. It's scary. It's a big world out there. I'm going around the I back don't know who uh, Yeah, the ball of arrows is there. Now, <laughs> it, oh, as soon as like he lets go of it, it's now just like a pile oh, of arrows. <laughs> How did these get here? What? Keep control Maybe of your Maybe he tidied pet. it. That's not tidy. They yeah? were in a thing. They were probably fired there by... Well, they were everywhere else, and now they're in a nice pile. So... Just making it easier for people. Yeah. I'm just, the last one had forks and knives and other sharp things and used them to throw at us and our faces and our eyes and our body <laughs> just every part of just remember if we don't say anything he'll keep talking mm. yeah. I'm just timing it they just waiting just... for literally anyone else to join this conversation <laughs> they were just protecting what they thought was their home for a time being I suppose in a way they were being defensive okay well you're on this isn't his home. He's a creature of habit. Oh, uh, fine. I'm going to lose so much stuff on the ship, aren't I? No. Let me stop checking Welcome on. Welcome to Smeek 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> Can it roll so much stuff that rolls the airship into its ball? In If it could get its ball big enough, <laughs> it like could. a Katamari, maybe. No. Then the Astoria. No, they actually, once they, get to a certain, once they get to a certain size, they... The, the ball explodes, <laughs> like, and it... it Creates a singularity. Yeah, and that's yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> they die of satisfaction. Just in Quill's room, just... Poof, <laughs> fucking forks sticking out the walls. <laughs> yeah. thank, anyway... Thank you, Morgane, that's for fine. the information about the armor. Well, I was going to say, you don't need to wrap this up because it is time for a break. Mm. That's where we're going to end part one. So oh. thanks very much for joining us for part one. We'll see you in part two. Indeed. See you in a bit. Hello, everybody. Welcome to part two of Erois. Uh, you find the heroes, the champions of Erois, are currently in the uh, borough folk town or village of Starwatch Rise on the continent of Al Saraf, where they enjoy they are enjoying a festival before their big hunt to take care of the great beast <laughs> of Atelicus. Fuck you, call me. Did you call me? Great hunt. <laughs> Um, 
Very good. Is that Great Hunt or Great, great hunt. hunt? Okay. I... What? Great Hunt. Okay. Make sure it's not Great, great. Hunt. No, it was not that. Behave yourself, no. Thomas. I don't know Such why. Let boy. the man finish his intro. I put, finish I the put intro. Sonic in this. <laughs> I know. I... You repay me. Sonic homing dashed me. <laughs> it did. Yeah. It, that's, that's what they, <laughs> in the new games, and you, I, the fact that you know that the term for that is it's the homing. Yeah. That's been in there since Sonic Adventure One, bro. Yeah, Sonic Adventure One yeah. is like the new generation. Oh, right? look, Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah that's new gen. Listen, Mega Drive, Sonic the Comic. The original cartoons. That's the OG. Okay. I was an okay. OG Sonic fan. Anything beyond Knuckles for me is. Can we yeah. play Dungeons and Dragons, please? Sorry. No. <laughs> no. Wait, this. this is now a Sonic the Hedgehog podcast. <laughs> That's how it ends. Yes. yes. <laughs> Finally. So, oh, I told you we why, were going to get cancelled this done year. A Sonic the Hedgehog tabletop role-playing game yet? If we didn't have. Where you could be like games, animals. We could have been like, the Dash Hogs. We could, we, we could be Dash Hogs, yeah. The Dash Hogs. Yeah. Why haven't I done a Sonic? I want to be Amy games. Rose. No, but like you could make your own. Oh, yeah. we did Root. We, what? Root. You could use Root. 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 We could do a Root yes. reskinned as a Sonic. Oh my God, that's genius. Yeah. <laughs> you need to approach well, the creators. Blue Street speeds by <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog's best theme song. If you don't go to YouTube, Sonic it. Underground goes pretty hard. Oh, no, it's not as good as that one. Their mother it's will be found. It's weird though. <laughs> Sonic <laughs> Underground was weird. Anyway, it is weird. anyway, Rois, <laughs> uh, you're in the first one. You've just had a chat with one else. Yeah, we know. Uh, you plan. picked up some vegetables. Do we have to carry all our vegetables up back to the? Absolutely. I have one yeah. parsnip. Yep. That's all I got, <laughs> and you gave it to me. Yeah. All my other stuff got trampled also, and stolen instantly. Yep. If we all donate a little bit of veg to Quill, I don't need does that. Much. Give him like half of my bowl. gummy veg. Listen, that's mm. not really how it's meant to work. But maybe if you all do a big group meal. Then maybe he can have bits of pieces of seed for you. Meat. Only seed. Was, you told us there's a specific amount. You can't have much anyway. There was I right? was picking out vegetables from the ground, but I, there was other stuff in that ground. Oh, wormy. <laughs> wormy. Good eating. Yeah, he's already full. He's like, <laughs> hey, what about me, guys? Had a full. I'm, not, like, I'm so not exhausted little, from the walk. Like, little work. Little buggies and worms. Oh, oh yum, God, yum. so many. This is very fertile soil. Yeah. Al 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 God. Oh. Crunch coin. Anyway. <laughs> tastes like chicken. No, it doesn't. It tastes like pillbug. <laughs> yeah, Quill would like eat himself and be like, why do I taste like pillbug? <laughs> <laughs> why does everything taste like pillbug? <laughs> oh. Anyway. Um, but yeah, you guys um, can make your way back up. Uh, the It's probably kind of like not sundown, but like it's getting into that late afternoon kind of period, right? As you guys are making your way up uh, back into the sort of main town area, um, two young twin borough folks, a uh, boy and a girl, but they're almost identical, like identical twins, just slightly dressed differently, wearing kind of that cottage quarry. Like the girl's got one of those like big kind of like pinafore kind of dresses kind of thing. The boy's kind of got like a pair of like pants with the suspenders, kind of the little shorts. Um, and they sort of like have been... And they've kind of, it's been obvious that they're like nervous to come and approach you, but eventually they sort of encourage each other and they approach and they're like, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, travelers, oh, travelers. Oh, uh, um, and they're sort of like, hello. Hi. Hi, hi. Um, uh, could you have anything that makes lots of noise or lots of light? Um, because there's this evil spirit that might come around later and, and we don't we don't have anything. Lucius. Uh, takes his sword out. <laughs> the, the Both of them are like looking at it like, whoa. This is like the noisiest no, 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 thing no, no, I've got. No, 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 Lucius, no, no, that won't do, that won't do. What's wrong with this? That, we've been given stuff. It's like a command, right? So you hold the shaft, don't hold the no, no, pointy. Don't, 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 don't give that to them. Why not? Don't, don't, the whole, there's a whole thing. They, no, no, we, we, we noisy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 it it makes lots of noise. It's like... Like Check this out. Hello! And I summon Captain's Command. You use the, the voice projection thing. Uh -oh. Hello! 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 It just like echoes through the valley. Everybody in the village like jumps. You hear like plates smash. <laughs> like, big oh rock. God. like every the guy pushing the like, pumpkin up the hill. Like, oh God! Oh, dude, 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 dude. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana Jones, like it scares the crap out of everybody. Um, the little, like they like cover their, 
keep in mind these are all bar folk. They have rabbit Big ears. Big ears. They're all bleeding. <laughs> like they like, kind of like clutches their ears, uh, and they sort of like ah ah, and they kind of like rub their ears for a bit, and then, and then the boy's like, wow, that was so loud. Like, Here you like, go. No, Lucius, don't be, <laughs> and not the sort you can't have that. There's not enough time for them to attune to it. Um, you do see the the girl is like, do drop, mum. You know what? They, you're not allowed to have a sword. Mum and dad said you're not allowed to have. He's not allowed to have a sword. He's like, shut up. And like, they, he kind of like shoves the other parents one. Parents are lame. Really, I don't <laughs> want to give them a little sword. <laughs> like, yeah. My parents aren't lame. <laughs> they just think that I'm. They just think I'm too little. Well, you should be happy you have any. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> they just like, look, give like, me that sword. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit out of sorts. Today. I think it's because. <laughs> 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 really, but when you look like the little girl is like nearly on the verge of like oh, she's like tears, no, like no, she's no, about to it, cry. He's just a bit. And like, out. like the little boy's like. I'm sorry, I've been. You made her me. cry. I'm <laughs> like, sorry, have the sword. He kicks Lucius in the shins. Ow! You take two points of damage. Ow! Like, That's quite good. Right. You're horrible, and then they run off. Oh, well, 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 oh no 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 no! That Do you have bad. anything? I don't have yeah, anything that makes they're, they're noise. Gone. We they're gone. They're gone. I mean, they're, they're, they're running away. It's not like yeah. they're immediately. They're gone. Wait here! And I, can I take one of the little. <laughs> like, don't worry. I'll call them back. <laughs> no, I just want to. I just want to. <laughs> like one killer? of the things that make noise and just make. What we we were make given noise? little you toys, were... weren't we? We were given things to hand out. Oh, you Mama. asked that if you could have some, but I don't know if you actually went and got them. I thought Mama gave them to us. I mean, she said that she could give you some, yeah. Did she? Did she? Did, did I mean, you she? didn't go and ask her for them. Okay, well, we don't have them then. I was going to oh, give I them see. Like, hand pipes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, have, yeah, that was the plan, yeah. I've had these for ages. Well, so you were there when Mama told us how to act when the children... We were... It you've, was, been, you've been around children before, right? Like, like Valor and... Yeah, but we did give her a knife. We did give her daggers, we, Yeah, we did give her daggers. Yeah. Yeah, we gave her a lot of knives. Like, I'm like, the kid. Maybe just a bit I'm more the gentle. Youngest. Maybe not screaming loudly. Three. Three. This three-year-old is better behaved. <laughs> I mean, the, the sword thing really I'm wasn't the, the issue. It was, it was the at least, like, screaming at, at least these kids, at least you have some. Give me that sword. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was more the point where it kind of made the, the kids upset. And then when the little girl was crying, her brother was like, you asshole. You're a jerk. Like, yeah, you're a jerk. <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe a little more patience next time. Yeah. Also, everyone heard you shouting yeah. hello across the entire. So we've done our job then. Well, mm. the pumpkin's still rolling down. The hill. How big are the pumpkins, like in terms of feet? The biggest ones are about ten feet tall, okay. and then they kind of like go down in size. Like there's a couple that are like eight, nine. Dick like the biggest. Big. Like, there's two mm. ones, and it's like they're trying to like measure to see who's exactly is bigger, and it's not quite clear. And they're but trying then, to... hey, one of them just smashed against a wall. Yeah, so. not one. <laughs> probably like there's probably like an eight foot one that they were like trying to push oh, up, no. and that's now smashed on the oh, ground. That went through like, the house oh. we just cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> are, and are they trying to get up to the, the village? I mean, yeah, they're like big ones. They, they, <laughs> just the big ones. They have no way. Of it's like the freaking I'm, birds look, all over again. Whenever <laughs> you take one thing I've done wrong, and then times it by a million. It's like The Simpsons when Bart does that. I only it was when Tom <laughs> said Tom <laughs> come up with the idea of the pumpkin being smashed. I didn't yeah. have that yeah, initially, and then he said it, it. and it rolled over several children. Now they don't have parents. Yeah, yeah. Parents are kids. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who's your parents? <laughs> you're now you're just like, like, like that. <laughs> like Aunt Baru and Uncle Owen Star Wars. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that doesn't happen. Could have. Oh. Mm. Uh, are we? Are we up <laughs> towards the village? Yeah, you're up in the village. Should we go to the pumpkin? Uh, I I can probably sort this actually. Um, I think I can do something. Okay. I, I'm starting to remember something. Stand back. Might not work. And I'm gonna stand on where, at like the top of the village, I guess, and look down at the pumpkin field. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sh the shield out. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and then Nova just focuses real hard. Well, if this is using the shield, remember that that isn't Nova's magic. That's an enchantment that's been built. She's still focusing shield. real hard? It's fine. Just saying. Are uh -huh. you? Gonna poo? Ah! 
point with the king and the queen? Oh, king gate. Okay. The front of the shield, uh, which has been designed to look like the original Tian Gong shard shield, the front of the shield almost seems to create, uh, you almost see like a, a, an image on the front of it, like a doorway opening. Um, and then, yeah. And you see that the familiar kind of shape of that portal that, that Nova used to be able to create in the past. And then another one. Um, and you can see a couple of the very confused borough folk farmers like, oh! they kind of jump when they see this big swirling kind of like portal appear. Um, but how big is the portal? Like? Ten Perhaps foot the, ten foot. Foot. Nice. <laughs> in diameter. Nice, okay. So yeah, like this giant sort of ten foot portal. <laughs> Uh, appears and they're all like, oh, and then they're like peering through it, like, and then they're looking out the other side. So they're kind of, if you're looking at it from Nova's point, like where Nova is, like these are almost mm -hmm. like a window. They're like, hello, what, what, what sort of sorcery is this? Ayla, I can cast Arcane Gate again. I genuinely thought you were just going to shake yourself. Technically, shield that casts Arcane Gate. It's not actually Nova. Just Nova's so. not listening. So technically, Azaria yeah, put that. Nova's there. just vibrating with like. <laughs> <laughs> you need to calm down. Hello? But I'm very proud of you. Traveler, is this, Hello? Is this your doing? Yes. Oh, yes. That's okay. okay. Yeah. Hello. It's okay. I, I'm glad you can use that spell what? again, but what's the plan? This is the happiest you've seen Nova in a couple of days, by the way. Uh, what do what, it, purpose? Yeah, what do, what do we what are we doing? With are the we gate? putting the pumpkins through it? Oh, the pumpkins through it. Okay, they can get the big ones up here. Okay, Thanks I'll go that. through. I'll go through the portal. <laughs> when you step through, they're like, Just sorry, like, it's like a doorway. It's a doorway, <laughs> but also we could like take the really big pumpkins and put them up the there. Pumpkins can go through. Yeah. How well, big was the gate? Ten, Ten foot. Ten foot. Oh, perfect. If oh. you could hurry, I can only hold this for ten minutes. Okay. But it's safe to take our pumpkins through? Yes. Okay. She says yes. It's hers. It's her daring. Okay. I don't want to take responsibility for the pumpkin explodes. Bring it through. Bring, Bring it through. through it. Bring it through. I'll. I'll. If you help, if you help them, I'll they can it. move it. Yeah, but you can't really roll it. Like they have to pick it up. Yeah. Because you can see that, like when they pick it up, it almost kind of gently sags. Like you know, this is a big pumpkin. Big boy. You know, it's like trying to hold it up. But with your help, you can kind of like and like. There's probably like four or five burly borough folk men and women sort of all helping you carry this thing through. And then they go and get the next one, um, and they bring it through, and then they get it into the main sort of square of the village. And there's big cheers. Kind of everyone's like, oh, and they start like looking to it. Um, and then they build it, and you can see that like large fire pits have been sort of created, and uh, they get the pumpkins down, and then you see a bunch of um, other borough folk, like uh, you know people who have got like skills as cooks and things like that. They come in and they start actually carving the top of this giant pumpkin off, and then they start getting in and scooping all the inside oh, of it out, and it looks like they're going to basically put this on the fire mm. and use the pumpkin itself as like a big massive stew pot, basically, nice. with all the veggies and stuff in it. Um, and they begin preparing Fish. it like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Give it all that I contributed. Well yeah, done, Nova. That's great. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah the, 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 the farmers, good. like, when you, the portal, like, as soon as they realize it, like, you can keep it up for 10 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Like, all of the bar folk are fascinated by it and they take, like, they're like, can I? And they, like, ju they, and they have, like, they, yeah, they basically play around with the portal and, like, maybe a couple of the kids, um, Maybe once Lucius has moved away, the two that you had scared <laughs> off, like they nervously, because like everybody wants to, everyone wants to have a go at the magic door, and so like everybody's like, I'm in the, and, they, the, and then they look up and they can like see their friends and they wave from down below. It becomes like a bit of a like little fun game that everyone plays for like ten minutes that they like jump through, um, and they have a lovely time. Um, obviously not used to this level of magic. Like you, you know, magic they seem to be at least somewhat familiar with, but not this. They've never seen this kind of magic before. So they're just like, oh, they're having a, the wild, they're just having the best time. Like one person is like, comes over and he's like, reckon if I throw a ball, I <laughs> throw it down there. Do you reckon I can run out of the doorway and catch it before it lands? That guy is thinking with portals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they turn it into a game where like he throws a ball and then he sends like a young lad who like runs through and <clears> he like runs and being borough folk, they like, you know, speed across the field and he jumps like 10 feet up in the air and like catches the ball before it lands and there's a big cheer and everyone claps. Um, I think for Nova as well, like seeing them all just so happy and like mm. laughing and stuff, it really helps her kind of like, I've used my magic in a really positive, like this spell that I've lost and I've now got back and it's like, I'm just using magic in a really positive way. It's like, oh yeah. yeah. Like, oh, if you love that spell, you'll love this. Vitriolic sphere. <laughs> 
<laughs> prism. <laughs> prism you, said that, spray. you said that in Lucia's voice, so I'm going to make start. I'm going to. Cannon. Yep. Prismatic Cannon. spray. <laughs> Prismatic spray. <laughs> kind of cold. Uh, all the I wish Buddy Folk didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly do that. You got to through something here, bud. <laughs> oh man, like the part, there's the cruel DM part of me is like, okay, you wish that Borofo didn't exist uh. <laughs> from this point onwards, or is that for all time Borofo yeah. never existed? Because if Borofo never existed, you never would have met Santa, mm -hmm. who I'm pretty sure helped save some of your lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At which point, would you no longer exist? Mm -hmm. And then if you were dead, you wouldn't be able to use the wish spell. I look mm -hmm. at a portrait of myself. Fade away. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the future. Oh, dark hand goes transparent. Wait. Whoa. Oh, no. uh, anyway, yeah, it's like this fun for ten minutes. Like the portals become the the main attraction as everyone sort of has a go. Um, everyone kind of quickly forgets uh, about anything else. Um, <laughs> You see, uh, you see, you only caught one of their names. You saw the two twins. You saw Doodop, uh, Doodrop, uh, was one of their names, and uh, they kind of come and have a go. Although they're still very nervous about Lucius, they want to go. Look, I'm here. sorry. I, I had an outburst, and I, sh I shouldn't have been that way. Adults should be more you were, responsible. You were a jerk. I was a jerk. It was. It's because he's very scared. Mm. He's heard that there's a monster creeping around. No, Ooh. don't. There's a monster. And they're like, they're, that definitely. They're like, oh, okay, and they sort of like, oh. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm, and like the the girls like, I'm not scared, and like the boys like, yeah, I know, yeah, we're not scared. But like, well, you're not scared. I mean, yeah. we were hoping that someone might be able to save us from these. Well, that's monsters. why we want. That's why we wanted something that makes sat, like lights and sound, because that's the only way to make the spirit go away. Is you need lots of bright light and sound. So that's. But we don't. We don't, we don't have anything. Every, all the other adults have given it all all their things away. Sentry, you said you had something for brave little warriors like I these, did. for the bravest warriors. Me too. But <laughs> <laughs> this is a staff of frost. <laughs> um, but yeah, they kind of look over at Sentry. I do, but before I give it away, I have a riddle that you must solve before I can give it to oh, the okay. bravest warriors. Yeah, 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 yeah. They said like, and they, this, is part, the game, right? <laughs> this is part of the game. This is part of the game. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, okay, yeah, we're pretty smart. Fo Foxglove's the smart one. She'll get it. <gasps> oh, I'm sure you are. Okay, how about this? I stalk the earth. I rule the sky. Feathers and fur make my hide. What am I? Uh, Me. Uh, you stalk <laughs> the earth and you rule the sky. Feathers and fur. Wait, they don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Mark doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> actually, uh, uh, oh, actually, I'll roll. I'll, I'll make some checks. Um, uh, what? Are you, so, uh, for one of them. What is the answer? Griffin. <laughs> Griffin, okay. So the, the girl, Fox Club, is just like, oh, um, well, okay, and starts going through like, well, it can't be any bird because they don't have fur. What has fur and feathers? I'm uh, like standing far back like, it's Griffin, it's Griffin. Say hey, Griffin, come on, it's Griffin. <laughs> Griffin. <laughs> and they, she starts like listing things, it's like, um, oh, whatever, and like, blah, like goes through a bunch of different things. Nope. And then eventually she's like, Griffin? And, like, but she says it like she's not sure. Um, the sentry light is sentry light like, leaps on that, but like, and then she kind of is like, no, um, and like, so, yeah, sentry would leap on Griffin. Okay. Like, well, only a brave warrior would know what a Griffin is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It was Griffin. Yeah, I know what those are. We've heard about them. <gasps> then you have succeeded the task. Here oh, you go. Good job, Fox Glove. And like, you give them the pan pipes. Yeah. And like, she like takes them, and you can see that, like she's super duper excited, and like you can see the boy's a little bit miffed that he didn't get it, but he's like, yeah, you got it, like, and he's like trying to be encouraging and stuff, mm -hmm. and she. Like takes them from you, and she's like, Poof! and she blows on it as hard as she can. It does make like a loud, shrill noise. And he's like, yeah, we've got it. Now we can fight the beast. And she's like, yeah, but you. Are... And she like takes his hand. He's like, I can't do it without you. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll come with you. And like the two of them scamper off, like super excited. But they come up to you, and they're like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then like, thank you for protecting us. And they like, we can't use it, off. Lucius. He needs to attune to it. <laughs> it's also it's a long sword, right? So it's, it's like massive. it's like <laughs> massive for him. It'd be like a massive two-handed sword. Also, you're a very special boy, and it's your sword. Yeah, I know. Mm. <laughs> How special. did that work? <laughs> I genuinely wouldn't have got that real. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I'm terrible. <laughs> is it time? Is it time? Is it's it time? Time? monsters. A chair? <laughs> a time. Coke. Nothing. Yeah. It's always nothing. Yeah. Sand. Me too. It's a dictionary. <laughs> the moon? Um, 
Uh, yeah. So uh, you watch as uh, the food of the festival begins being prepared. You can see the big sort of pumpkin is being like made up, but there are oh, other... Well, put in your parsnip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, they take some of your vegetables and things like that, but then also other things are being made. You can see that at one station, um, any fruits that you've brought up, they're putting into like big fruit salads um, and sort of everyone's contributing and then you nice. get like a serving of it, but you have to like give some in exchange. Um, another thing they're doing is they have like these little stands with like little tables and they've got these kind of um, big clay pots full of um, hot oil that's being heated from like a little fire underneath. And they'll take the vegetables, they dip them in a sort of like wheat flour batter and then they fry them like a tempura. Mm. And like they do that and like you get like a little what? plate with like the tempuras and stuff. Mm. Um, oh no, I'm hungry. And that's like a yep. really like common, like, like everybody's kind of like... Oh, I don't know. Crumble that night. Um, oh my God. But yeah, so uh, like that's like another common, like that's like a communal dish where like mm. you come along, you put whatever you want on a stick, you like dip it in the batter and the flour and then you fry it yourself and then... You eat it tasty, um, and then there's like a big stir fry dish as well. That they've got like um, they've got like wheat noodles, and then they're like frying that up with all the vegetables. Mm. That's like much more. They've got like spices and things like that where they throw those into it. And it's quite a hot dish. Um, okay, I was just wondering, are there two small uh, bunny folk people that are like? dancing around and throwing the ingredients to each other and at the end of it they say so tasty no like monster hunter no okay because these are actual people these yeah. are like actual cool though rabbit men all right anyway um but yeah so the food is done just because there's a dash help after you guys doesn't mean finish <laughs> we're going on a great hunt eating you notice Quill would be the first one to notice, but anybody with a perception, passive perception of twenty or higher, oh. picks up on this. <laughs> but Quill notices the first one. You see, uh, sort of like as people have split off, some people are sat around. There's like these big kind of green areas on the top of the hills where people are sit, like almost having like little picnics. You see out the corner of your eye. You see, and they must be about like nine foot tall, um, draped in like this heavy black cloak with the head of like this, uh, like uh, a mixture of a wolf and a lion and the eyes glittering red, um, almost kind of like... Banish. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it begins like stalking its way through and the sun is beginning to set, like beginning to set. And you actually kind of watch as this figure like looms out from between these two little buildings um, on a family who are walking. Um, and it, you see them like make a like raise its arms up, and it got these long kind of like pointed talons. Um, and you hear like a kind of, Row! and the parents are like, oh, and they like cower and they turn their eyes away. And then the kids are like, oh, oh, and they like pull out like little firecrackers, and like they've got like little kind of like sparking kind of like um, like little wands of like fire and firework sparks. And they do that, and the creature's like, Row! and it kind of like flees out into the alleyways. And you can see moving through the alleyways this figure, and you can immediately tell like maybe the cloak lifts up too much and there's stilts underneath it mm -hmm. you can see like the shape of a big uh borough folks like feet underneath it as well and it kind of drapes back over and it's making its way and it's coming around to where you guys are and you can see that there's a bunch of other borough folk and stuff nearby as well uh, like, quill's the one who sees it first oh okay i mean my performance is very bad oh no watch out everybody the wolf lion's coming! Make a performance Ooh. check. <laughs> Please make a performance check. That is a 13. 13. Oh, sure hope it doesn't get me. <laughs> Who could save us? Okay, so the, it's enough that all the kids are pretty convinced by it, but all the adults are like looking at you like, come on, what man. Door. Like, oh, put a bit more effort in. But the rest Do of you, as soon, part, as, then. as soon as Quill <laughs> points it out, the rest of you see this figure like looms out. And now like moving It's closer. behind you. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Lucius hyperventilates. <laughs> Just throws just... his plate off the table and then starts crawling away, I screaming, just... no, please, God, no, don't take me. <laughs> I just, um, I is just this a one. Is this just... Take the children, don't take me. <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> On your performance. But I imagine Ayla's just like, stop, no, don't. No, I'm so scared. Okay, nice. <laughs> yep, that's perfect. Um, yeah, Sentry uh, just like throw our arms in the air like, oh my goodness me, he's coming, everybody run! <laughs> I'm so scared. What do we get on your nervous performance? Yeah, just oh, eating. Uh, Make yeah. a performance for me. 17 plus 4 is 21. 
21, Nova's very convincing oh. performance. Oh, forsooth, <laughs> I am so scared of this dangerous creature in the night. Will anyone save me, this poor ratchet urchin? Okay, nice. <laughs> and then Sentry, nice. performance. Uh, I got 12. 12, okay, so like you're like, oh, kind of like you and Quill are on the same level <laughs> of like, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> in circles. Oh no! It's like, no, it's like being dramatic, but it's like semi believable. You guys are just being over the top. Sentry pretends to faint. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, one eye like lights up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I go to catch Sentry. I'm yeah. dead. <laughs> what about Lucius? So I rolled a 10. Okay. So all that stuff that I planned in my head of like crawling that's away. You, that's what you think like, you were doing. Here we go. I hit the plate and just fall over. <laughs> <laughs> just, but also you're speaking out. so <laughs> you're speaking so quickly it just kind of goes <laughs> and, then, and then you're knocked out. Um, there's a kind of like the adults kind of look around and like I think like one of them um, but it's the Ayla you're like no please and then you feel like this kind of old icy hand on your shoulder and uh, Mama Mama Vindra is there and she's just like do it better. <laughs> and like she like squeezes your shoulder and her like grip is surprisingly strong and she's got old cold people. Like yeah, she's got like cold old people <laughs> like hands. Right now. And she's yeah. just like <laughs> she's like do it better. <laughs> like you're like Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. I'm scared! Yeah. I can't do that! I can't do it! I'm not scared! <laughs> um, but like, you know, you kind of uh, get along. Um, then the group of kids that are kind of around you, including Fox Gob and Dujo, like uh, all kind of run along. And you can see that some of the kids are actually genuinely too scared. Aww. Like some of the kids are just like, oh, and then they're just like clinging to their parents. And they're like, oh, you have to go and scare them. But the, the kids are just too frightened. Like they're Aww. too frightened to do anything. Um, if there are any little kids near us that are sort of hiding yeah, well, near us, Fox then... Gob, so Fox Gob and Dujo, they're, 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 they're like, you can see they want to, but they're genuinely terrified. Terrified, Aww. and they're like, you can see folks love when she's got the pipes, but she's like got them near her mouth, but they're like cowering like underneath a bench, like maybe like the one next to Lucius where he knocked himself out. <laughs> 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 and they're sort of like crouched behind it, and they, they really, you can see that they yeah. want to go and scare it off, but they're like just too frightened. At this I'll just point. be like, young woman, please <laughs> play your pipes of noise, save us. I'll make a persuasion uh, roll. Persuasion. Plus five. Uh, yeah, we got... I think I'm... Uh, 17 plus five. 17 plus five, okay, that's enough. Like, you, she kind of, like, Fox Club looks over and she's like, okay, okay. Um, and, like, her brother sort of, like, grabs her and they run up uh, and, like... And they're the only kids. All the other kids are, like, too frightened. And so, like, they're the only two. And you see big jack in this costume just sort of like i'm going to eat you little ones and there's a moment where like she just doesn't do it and then the the brother kind of like squeezes like you know her like arms and she just brings it up and goes it's this incredibly loud shrill noise um enough to make actual jack sort of startle back like bloody hell okay Ow. Um, and then he's just like oh, ah, ah, back to the first i go and he like makes a big show of like running off and then as soon as he starts running all of the kids who are too scared suddenly they become braver and they start chasing after him and they're like letting off their fireworks and like blowing like instruments and making noise and they chase him all the way to down the steps to the edge of the woods basically Aww. um and then you can see all of the kids basically go chasing after it. and as soon as the kids are all out of the way the parents will kind of like clap everybody like oh well done like yeah good job i think Bizarre. we all did one we are saved where's lucius <laughs> 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 Oh, you see like a big red mark. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's swelling. Oh, You've got a little leg on your head. What happened? Your what happened? <laughs> wolf gave me? <laughs> oh. Yes, the wolf. Yeah, the wolf got you. That's a less embarrassing story than <laughs> what's so actually funny. happened. I Heroes think we did fantastically. <laughs> I personally think Sentry did the best. Her acting was incredible. Very believable. Oh, yours was very good. Thank you. Oh, no, Thank no. you. Oh, did you notice that bit where I started yelling, that took my arm, and <laughs> started really, waving my mechanical wing around? That was really good. Yeah, I thought that would be too much, but... I mean, I was just, you know, reeling off quoted works of a famous Ganassi playwright, you know. Yeah, it sounded too scripted, to be honest. Wow. No, I thought it was very good. <clears throat> Matriarch uh, Vindra would just be like, well, I would say don't give up your day jobs. Uh, the theatre perhaps is not one... Performances are not for all. Your skills are elsewhere. 
some exceptions, and oh. she'll sort of like nod, sort of in Nova's direction. Um, but do I do? I, but... I'm leaning behind Nova. <laughs> 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 your face. Yeah. But the effort is greatly appreciated. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun little thing, and it's good to see, uh, especially the, the, the young twins uh, making that first move. I think that shows great courage. We'll make sure that they get some extra treats uh, when they come back. Um, I think the last thing is as the sun comes down, we're going to finish up any lanterns, and that will be the last part of the festival. Um, so enjoy, um, relax. If any of you do have any. Um, People that uh, have recently been lost um, in the last, it doesn't even have to really be anyone recent. Um, if you have anyone that you want to say goodbye to, uh, there's, and she gestures, and you can see that there's basically like a bunch of materials to make these lanterns, and there's somebody, you know, sat there making them who can kind of show you how to do it. You're more than welcome to. Um, yeah, I'm going over. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think we goes. probably all will, right? Are you going? Lucius will. Yeah, the will. A lantern for Bim. <laughs> <laughs> or Smeek. It just or both. gets stuck on my roof. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> Sets fire to a thatch. <laughs> Goes up and it oh, it spins feel the frost. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> just for me, the whole thing with the Bim and the Imp, it's just the slow rotation <laughs> in like a spaceship, and it just hits the cockpit, and you hear like a thunk. <laughs> and then it just floats up. Like in my head, that's the it's visual so image in my head. Well. Yeah. It's like incredible, like just this dead in like. <laughs> if anything, he was the original oscillator. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> was the original, the OG oscillator. Such a dumb moment. Uh... Um, but yeah, you, you make your way over, um, and the borough folk who sat there is uh, the lady who asked you to help their parents clean out the house, Talia, the kind of big curvy ara ara woman. Um, and she'll sit down and show you how to make the lanterns that they make them here, and like you kind of helps construct it. And there are little t tiny candles that you put in the middle. Um, and then, but she says, don't don't light them just yet. Don't light them just yet, darling. We'll, we'll take them to the edge of the village, and then we sort of launch them all at once. Um, it doesn't take long. It's not particularly hard to make them, but there are also materials to decorate them and dedicate them to people. Um, so I'm Nova. Who? What? What? What do you do to decorate your lantern if you're making one? Um. I would cover it in stars, mm -hmm. and um, I think actually the constellation I would mark out in stars is the shape of the original Tiangong. Mm -hmm. um, like the blade. Yeah, I mean, narcissistically, if you've ever seen the um, Nova's Atlas Academy t-shirt, on the back of that is a constellation that marks out Tiangong's outline, so um, yeah. Can be that. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Is so anybody else making a lantern and you know decorating it in, with somebody in particular in mind? All right, Lucius. Lucius is making two little lanterns mm -hmm. that are linked together with a little string, and one is going to have an uh, orange gem on it, and one will have a blue gem, and one will be for Viren and one for Elowen. Yeah. Oh. And he'll set them both off yeah. at the right time. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Anyone else? Yeah. Um, Sentry is going to do one for Commander Hotshot. Um, I think hers would be decorated in sort of like trails of gold to like signify the Matrix River since mm -hmm. they never got to go. So it would be their own little golden river to take them. Up. Yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> How are you going to bring this down, Tom? <laughs> so you do not have to make one. I'm just trying just to figure out. Just make one and yeah. write Alfheim on it. Who's the planet? I'm trying to figure out no. how to decorate a lantern for Hesper. Thank oh. you. Well, I was, no I, one died close to Quill, just his god! <laughs> for you. Sure. Ah, uh, for a lot of people too. <laughs> okay. Most for you. I would decorate one. Yeah, you don't have to, uh, yeah, if you don't have an idea, you can just say that Quill's made like one dedicated to Hesper for sure. Yeah, feathers, feathers the book of knowledge. I'll put the book in it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bye! Right, yeah. You make it out of the book. It just says A Plumbus on the side, okay. but it's, it's written with my, my non dominant hand, so it's a mess. Mm. Nice. Yeah, sure. No, I genuinely don't. I don't know. That's fine. You don't have fuego? to. Yeah. Fuego? Maybe. You do not have to make one. If Ayla would not make one. I don't know. I feel like she might make one. Not like Elfheim, a whole planet, but yeah. just to just the fact that she's actually found some wild elves that are like part of the same kind of 
they have the same abilities and they have the same kind of story as her. Mm -hmm. So she might send one up with just like terribly drawn like lightning bolts and some frost and so just elemental type <laughs> symbols on it sure. for the wild elves Lost that wild are, elves. are no longer yeah. with us. Oh, perfect. Um, the whole village gathers, uh, all of Starwatch Ryan's gathers just basically on the, the crest of the tallest hill, the central one, where um, the mummers uh, kind of like main chambers are. Um, everyone gathers up on the hill, people still eating. It's a lively atmosphere. It's not a somber, sad atmosphere. Uh, you know, people are still eating. Um, the kids are being given rewards for like scaring off the dark spirit and things like that. Um, but as they kind of get there, uh, Mama sort of quiets everyone down. It's just like, everyone has their lanterns. Um, and you hear like, you know, people like, yeah, and they kind of cheer. And it's like, well, let's let's send everyone off uh, to create new stars and Kalara guide them into their new lives. And sort of she lights the first one and she says a name, uh, probably of you know some borough folk in the village and it kind of begins to gently drift. And then, yeah, everyone else does the same and sort of follows suit. And soon you have this kind of cresting wave of lanterns just slowly drifting up into the sky, um, this beautiful clear sky of Al Saraf, uh, you know, the, well, the wilderness, the sort of big forests and hills and mountains kind of curving around you, creating this very picturesque scene as it drifts up into the sky. Um, and I think it's very, very early, but I think that's probably where we're going to end the episode. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a quicker one today because it's not really, I don't really have anything else to okay. say for today. Yeah. Could Nova say one last sure, thing? Yeah. Like, as the, so I think as we were all sat together and the lanterns go up. Mm. Like, I think Nova would look up and watch, you know, look around at everyone kind of staring up and, and thing there. So, um, you know, I, I wasn't entirely convinced that I'd made the right decision in coming back. It was very peaceful up there. But right here, right now, after today, sat with you all in this moment, I am happy. And I'm so proud to call you all my friends and my family. So thank you, all of you. And it's, it's good to have you back, Nova. Whatever comes next, at least we've had this moment. Yeah. Welcome Indeed. back. Uh, and as Nova sort of finishes saying that, the bar of folk, <coughs> musical instruments, uh, sort of little stringed banjos and sort of little drums and things are brought out. Fires are lit. Um, more food and treats are all brought out. Kind of like the ending of Return of the Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lovely little fire lit sort of like nighttime sort of party. Do 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 do. <laughs> it's uh, but no, it's the celebration continues into the night, um, and it is this moment of sort of yeah, peaceful but lively um, and simple enjoyment of this festival. Um, and that's yeah, where we're going to end today's episode. I think um, I know it's uh, it's mm. not a super long one, um, but I want to kind of save it so that mm. we can come straight in next week uh, with load. the hunt. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What's the hunt. um. What's really nice is I know you were kind of like, oh, I'm really sorry, Kim, because we didn't manage to get this kind of thing on the kind of first mm -hmm. week of Chinese New Year, um, Lunar New Year. So today is actually the last day of yeah. Chinese New Year. It's Chuck Gourmet right. today, which is also known as the Lantern Festival. So it's kind of really sweet Aww. that we have ended oh, with our own Lantern Festival yeah. Yeah. today. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I'm glad. I'm glad it did get to work. I did want to wrap some things yeah. in. So I know it's a special time of year. So cool. Mm. Um, but that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We will see you next week um, where, yeah, things are going to kick off with a battle, a, a monster hunt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's oh, yeah. <clears throat> I've got a lot, a lot of stuff to do before that happens. So, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a lovely week. <laughs>